No. I'm gonna start in five. <laughs> four, I have to say something. I have to say something. Jake. Fun fact: Zeus actually slept with his grandmother. Okay, Yep. All right. Really? Starting in five, four, three. I've already been recording this part, so the next, the first twenty. I'm gonna start when it hits thirty seconds. So we got nine. I don't know. You see. You're gonna turn out to One. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Cup of Eggnog. What the hell is a streamer podcast? Why do we even both. have why do, it? Why can, do we it even could be both. Because people like, do podcasts is on Twitch. Okay. All right. Dude. It's just streaming my Discord, so I just have the chat up, is all. See, I don't really have a plan for this. It's just whenever we want to get around to it, we post it. As I said. Yeah. Okay, correction. You're going to post this because I can't read. <laughs> I mean, I can, just not very well. So I, I want to ask you guys this is the one question I didn't have set up, and it was pretty much why did you download TikTok? Like, what was the first video you saw, and who was the first person you followed? And we're going to start. And you introduce okay. yourselves first. That's actually sorry. You can go ahead and introduce yourselves. Oh. <coughs> okay, I should go. I should go. <laughs> that went or, so well. There's toxic kid in nine. TikTok. Okay. Hi, welcome oh. to AA Toxic Kitten. <laughs> Who's gonna go next? Go ahead. I'll go. All right. I'm Puckish Rogue. Uh, Ethan. That's about it. That's it. I'm bored. That's all you got. That's Correct. bad. Did you That's see? Yeah. Did you meet I got Jesus? Are you I got a concubine left. for the uh, Emperor of Rome? All right. So, anywho, next, <laughs> next lesson. <laughs> next victim. Go on, Rat. All right. Um. Hi. I'm Rat. I can safely say that I am the second most OG person here. <laughs> I can smell you. I can smell um, you. <laughs> I can smell you. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. I am up. creeping around right now. Yes, you just yeah. can't see me because I'm evolved in this. My name is Pablo. <laughs> oh, no, we're not going there. Man, that was done by Smitty. That was no, not by Smitty. That, that was, was not Smitty. No, that was Mini Lad. Was that say, was Mini Lad. That is Mini, the controversy the man. Well, okay, Mini Lad went Both from. Okay. How ironic yeah. that turned out to be. <laughs> oh God, he is... his name is Pablo. <laughs> his name is Pablo. He he, fucks he's kids. one of my favorites, so I, I don't want to talk too much about him. Okay, but where like, is this conversation admit... going? You gotta admit, his content went downhill. He used to do his own thing, but now he just posts reaction vids. He's like Sniper Wolf. He just posts reaction vids. Don't you insult the one I sent for. You could simp for me, if you know what? I would, I would rather have you cry every day and simp over Skydas Minecraft <laughs> losing his channel than admit no, that you ever simp for Mini Lab. How the dare popular you. MMOs or Skydas Minecraft, which one? Oh, no, no, you dipshits. You gotta go Atlantic Craft or Mumbo Jumbo. Don't you pretend. Okay. Okay. Let's go the chicken from uh, Atlantic Craft. <gasps> Didn't he just want to take a break? I don't know. I oh, can't fuck. Yeah. But we I interrupted, we we interrupted was, Rat's was, intro was, like yeah. four times. <laughs> And we'll keep doing it. But I, I, have to, I honestly have to get off, but I'll be in this tomorrow for doing it. Alright, good night. Night. Night stream. Thank you. <laughs> You're gonna kiss the stream uh, good night. Oh, I'll kiss the stream good night. <laughs> shut up. You're Billy uh, Hardwalk, okay. shut up. I don't even know who that is. It's your mama, bitch. <laughs> All right. Uh, is Rat gonna finish his intro? Thing? Rat, yes, Rat, finish your intro. Finish, Rat. Do okay. it. Do it now. Where was I? Do it on my. You're one of the most OG. P okay. <clears throat> That's one place. Okay. Um. Um. I fucking. Okay, next person. <laughs> Epitaph. What's up? All right. 
Hi, I am, uh, no, I am Epitaph, and I am a bucket, that's pretty much it. Slant. I'm a fat bucket with things in him. He'll like it. <laughs> that's a that's a new one. Slant bucket. Slant bucket. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go down the list, and we're gonna start with Rat because you're the oldest here when it comes to following me. Why did you download TikTok, and who's the first person you saw? Like, which account? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna start on my, on my very first account. Start, start off with your first ever, like, TikTok account. That'll work. Oh, fuck you. Okay, like musically days, days, let's go. Musically. Oh, um, shit, you mean the dead app? Yeah, that one. <laughs> let's just go back to Vine, the deadest one. I used, I used to do quote-unquote cosplay. Like it was like shit cosplay. Is it musically? <laughs> yeah. But like, I remember vividly this one where I put fucking like, food coloring under my eyes to represent blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I want to be edgy, mom. Where's the red food coloring? The fuck? That's that's so clever. I'm not even mad. <laughs> No, like, ugh, the worst part is, I had to go to school the next morning. <laughs> you had to go to a party immediately after? No, 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 I had to go to school, I had to go to school the next morning and explain why the, uh, the eyelids of me were orange. <laughs> nice. Just say, I was snorting Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. And I got him overboard. Nice. Donald Trump oh, didn't exist back then. Doing body shots <laughs> off of Trump. Did this man just say Donald Trump didn't exist back then? He's in his 70s. He existed before you did. Jake was a fucking <laughs> lie. Time is nothing but an illusion. Uh, let's see. Rat, how long ago was that? Because I might have been on Vine for that. Jesus fucking... 20... 2015? Yeah, I was on Vine. God damn. That's like my second account. Oh, this is my... My Undertale phase. Oh, shit. <laughs> we all had one. I'm sorry. No, I didn't. I hated Undertale. Oh, you... Well, like, I could never get behind yeah, it. Yeah, neither did I. Um, Y'all some bitches. Something about it. I just couldn't get behind it. Y'all some bitches. Bottom. I was late to the game. I wanted to catch up. I watched one episode Fucking of it, and I was like, bottom. Hey. Uh, hey. It's Mr. Bottom to you. You don't get to tell me what to do, you're a bottom. Yes, I am. Okay, there, I think you're confusing bottom with submissive. It's a joke. I'll be a, I'll be a little brat if that's what you want, bitch. I, okay, if we go look at my tests, brat hammer is the, far, the first one, and I don't know how to feel about that. I have no zero on my BS my first, my first one's just ventriloquist. <laughs> Put my hand up your ass and play you like a doll. If you put if you tug on their you. intestines, right, their mouth opens. If you pull on her ass, it'll make her scream grass. That's a doll. Oh. I don't like that. I don't like that. No, I don't like that. <laughs> so, um, my second account was my Undertale phase. I was still trying to do cosplay. Were you cosplaying? This time, it, 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 yeah. No, probably because yeah, yeah, uh, I was gonna guess him instead because uh, of his how he was gonna be papyrus. <laughs> yeah. But the funny part was, here's the kicker. He was gay. When I <laughs> he was wearing fishnets. <laughs> Mega Lavanya starts playing, but it's all violin. Dude, in 2015, then 20... It slowed down, too. I was homophobic. <laughs> okay, so... Um... It's slowly turning into Kesha. <laughs> okay, anyhow, we keep interrupting Rat. Rat, speak. <laughs> Alright, so... Rats um, was getting bullied. 
Stop interrupting! <laughs> Someone's becoming like, a meme! I can't scream because my mommy's asleep. You don't have to scream. <laughs> But I want to. I no. want to scream. Just cry Fuck instead. It. It's much more effective. <coughs> You'll get your feelings out faster. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean for that to be funny, and y'all are crying. Or is that just Jake? Just get your feelings out and go faster. Like faster. <laughs> I just peeked my microphone. I know Get it. your feelings out. Go faster. Drive a Chevy. Yeah, but at least it won't break the, the side of the road. The 1500. Ghost of fucking Welcome to Ram Ranch. <laughs> 18 dudes at Ram Ranch. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, 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 bow. Why do they gotta do Arctic Monkeys like that? Was too fucking loud. Why'd you only call me? Oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit. That was too fucking loud. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Rat, I'm gonna need you to stop playing like Outlast any... for a minute. Sorry. No, I laughed too fucking loud, and I now hear footsteps down my fucking hallway. Oh fuck. Good. Are you in the bathroom? In the basement, like I do. Yeah. I'm in the basement now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm also in the basement, but like, goddamn. I don't do you know what no, I'm not. I'm in my own basement, not yours. I don't even have your address. Yeah, but I have. I don't know you. I don't know you. Caitlin told me your address. I'm gonna have to start trusting her with a little less information. <laughs> I'm, gonna to, I'm gonna start having to fingerprint my shit. <laughs> I'm just picturing. Have you guys seen Meat Canyon's episode where uh, where Boo is on OnlyFans? Okay. Okay. Hey, why are you why are you reading off my browser history? Yep, there it is. I don't care. Why don't you have fart in your mouth? No, 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 no. And it's fucking just my Alright, just uh, stop interrupting rap. Just let rap just let him continue. I don't know how I said rap. Is farting just technically a really mean queef? <laughs> It's just the more violent queef. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this man is just a little upset. He's just spicy. <laughs> Did you just say his ass is spicy? <laughs> spicy queef a ball. If you get the aggressor trophy in Rocket League, which means you get first touches for multiple rounds, does that mean you get first touches on kids too? Okay. No, no. Just minors, not all kids. Just minors. Just minors. Right, just let let Rat continue. Come on. Let's get Sean on the. This man's about to piss his pants here in a minute. He's gonna keep fucking crying. He might be crying. Yeah, get your fucking introduction out of the way. Hurry up, dude. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, he already did his intro. We already all did our intros, but like, he, keeps, he needs to talk about his TikTok account. He does. Okay, he does. okay, okay. <sighs> okay. Third account. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do a prep. Um, this was the one before the, the Red Street TikTok. Besides my first ever account, this one but by far was the cringiest. And then the rat account. My current baby. Oh my god, if you don't spit out this information faster, I'm gonna put your fucking pants up to your belly button. Did you say you're gonna piss uh, oh, up his okay. belly button? No, I'm gonna pull his pants up to his belly button. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a wedgie with suspenders. <laughs> Turn his jeans into overalls. <laughs> Told him to test me before I do it. <laughs> I do that shit. Over okay, overalls. I'm work coding this entire thing because I just fucked up the entire mask now. What? I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I gotta get a bigger brush. 
You know, wench is technically just a term to describe a woman. It's not even supposed to be an insult. It's like, eh, be the wench. It's like, yeah, it's so like it a way to talk about a woman, story. but it's like calling so. Yeah, like, you can use bitch, but like, bitch has an alternate meaning. Like, wench is just like, ugh, look at that scrangy old man. It's like, ugh, look at that scrangy wench. <laughs> Mother? <laughs> Mother. I no longer wish to be horny. Okay. I wish uh, to be a wench. A rat account. Yeah. So, when I first started off, I was. Like in 2018, I had a baby face. Oh yeah, you, you still do. It, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like I'm talking like the Chinese Eggman before Chinese Eggman. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> like that's how fucking baby face it was. Saying it's like fucking 100% American, but anyways. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, I, my first TikTok was when I thought having a like sore throat spray was cool. <laughs> and back then, my name wasn't even I, li I like rats who pee on me. It was just fucking B Man 47. <laughs> Which fucking looking back at him now sucked ass. <laughs> Wait, what is B man? Oh, you fucking no. It's just his name. <laughs> fucking is Bryce. Is it like a reference to anything? No, it's my, it's my fucking name. Bryce. <laughs> B man. Words and shit. Stuff and things. <laughs> Can we. <sighs> okay, who's the name? It's like Jay's Anonymous or Jay's Anonymous or something. No, that like girl. Yeah, I want to say girl. Says the they might use they them time. Kind of, yeah. Like, that didn't they use it as like a my catchphrase? Though? <laughs> Did this man really? Didn't they call someone an N word? Like, they used it as an insult. I don't. I don't know. You said it was in high school. Yada yada yada. I'm sorry. Oh, in high school? How old are they now? She's like nineteen. No, she's like forty-two. She... Definitely. Yeah. I thought she was like 22. She's she's still like like so. early 20s tops. Okay, anywho, like I don't think she's like that now. Cause like okay, even with like actors that like have done bad things, it doesn't make them bad people. Like you can do bad things and still recover from it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me just clarify. If they... Did he recover? Okay. No, he shot himself. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> That man could have made an amazing comeback story. You he could shut be the up. next Robert Depp. He could have been an amazing. How much are you willing to bet Depp while he? Was, how much are you willing to bet that while Hitler was like during World War Two, he's making like drawings and some just he's painting beautiful landscapes. Ah, I love all like the Anna places Frank where the Jews want to be. Mm, such wonderful landscape, non inhabited by Jewish and foreigners. Oh my god! Anyone with okay. disabilities. Let me, let's get. Let's not get my ass banned. Thank you. So far, I can within the first 20 minutes of using this goddamn app. I have a request. Is it against TOS if I leave my headset on while I pee and you can hear it on stream? If you, <laughs> if, if you piss on stream, I'm gonna piss on you. <laughs> I like how this is the right podcast. I'm just back. saying your own stuff. Rat, just just mute yourself, dude. Okay, fine. <laughs> Pleb. All right. So since he, so we'll just we'll win we our face. Epitaph. Why did beg your fucking pardon? Epitaph. Why hmm? did you? Why did you make TikTok? And who did you see first? And yeah, same question. Uh, the reason I like installed TikTok on my phone was because uh, have you guys ever heard of someone called Dahidi Nogla? Oh yeah. yes, duh. Dahi. Yeah, yeah. I was scrolling through YouTube and I just saw 
Uh, and I, before this, I only thought like TikTok was just you know a worse version of Musically, you know, but it was still just like dancing and girl shaking her ass stuff like that, That's which it still kind of is. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Uh, Charlie D'Amelio wants to know your location. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I saw Donnie's video and I saw the cringe. I was like, oh, I want to, I need to experience this because. <laughs> Yeah, I was I I was just uh, I was too happy for my own good at that time. <laughs> it was mostly, like I don't know why, but whenever I don't have enough toxicity in my life, I just get like just open it, up it, TikTok. It's just I just don't like that feeling. I just don't like it. So I and if I you ever you need my toxicity, just, just find toxicity. a chick with dyed hair. Oh, Caitlin's in the server. And uh, <laughs> the first person I saw was a guy named Daniel. She's pretty Daniel. crazy. And he was like, um, how if people like glitched or something when they walked mm -hmm. or something like that. And he just, Do you, you know, like they were walking, walking? dude. And... <laughs> no. <laughs> Does it naturally? I feel like it takes more muscle to like open it. I think it just like... passively clenches. Yeah, because like if you, uh, oh, well, okay, it's like pushing it through and the muscle expands. And then contracts, and then just clenching it, which is like sh shrinking it down. I mean, but like naturally, it's pretty decently closed, right? I would assume so. Or, or, or am I just am I just walking around with an open asshole? <laughs> just flapping my gums about, <laughs> flapping the gums of your asshole. You guys ever All seen right. Side Night in Happiness? <laughs> I'm just picturing when they the when he the rattlesnake thing. <laughs> When he's like shaking, <laughs> yes. I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay, but anyways, yeah. So epitaph. Uh, why did you follow me? Like, what was the video that got you following my page? The all-knowing wizard. Oh, for fuck's sake! Calling people sons of bitches. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm more concerned with the fact that I legitimately click called out a good commu a good chunk of the community. Like uh said Star Wars the new Star Wars fans are toxic, yada yada yada. The people who do The new Star Wars fans are like if they the new Star Wars fans are the same ideology as like, oh yeah, Santa's real. Don't worry, he's still real. Tooth Fairy? Fuck yeah. You still buying? I'm, I'm, I'm 25, yeah. But Tooth Fairy's real. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, have you guys ever seen Rise of the Guardian? Yes. Has anybody seen I mean, Rise of the Skywalkers and actually liked it? I Fuck hated no. that movie, like, straight up. I, I went in with, like, okay, a blind. Okay, okay. Didn't care. The only yeah, time, like... the only thing I liked about that movie was at the end when, <laughs> like, all you could hear all the Jedi's voice. That was it. When you could hear all that. I didn't things. like that. Even if they include Ahsoka Tano. My 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 one hope was that maybe Ray would finally or not Ray. Maybe Palpatine would finally be able to kill off a Jedi properly this time. He killed the forces five in five in ten seconds. Well, it went properly. I'm still okay. confused of okay. how like, Ray and They're not Faye like no, not like properly, Faye. but like electrically. I was hoping he'd kill fucking Ray with just electricity <laughs> and let Kylo fucking take over as the new Jedi. I and honestly, there's so much I can bitch about, but like I'm just telling you a hundred thousand times I would rather have fucking Finn. I think his name's John Vega. Yeah. Is that the actor's name? Yeah. Anyhow, John I would Boyega. rather have Finn a thousand times more. Finn be the yeah, John Boyega. I, sorry, okay. John Boyega. I would rather have John Boyega play Finn and Finn actually become a fucking Jedi. Because there's so much shit in that. Force Awakens was not that bad. I it was... wasn't good, but it was not that bad. What was wrong with Force Awakens? Uh, I didn't like Everything. some of the fighting scenes. Okay. But like, that's about it. That's, that's about all. I did, that's about all I didn't like. You know. He got a slicey slicey like up the they back, tried but to copy and paste Vader with a mask. Uh, he was not copy and paste, actually. That's the it, one okay, thing. It wasn't copy and paste, but I didn't like that he wore a mask. It's it's just a thing for me. I, it, it's weird, but like, I feel like villains need to have like their image, and the mask just it was the it was an image. 
But I would have preferred, like, a cloaked face that, like, everybody's mister- mysterious about. But, like, with a mask, you can paint a picture. You can't paint a cloak on a wall. I mean, you can, but, like... Yeah, you can. Really look, at, look, right. at, look at Sidious, dipshit. <laughs> okay, yeah. listen. Look listen. at Maul. He you, had, you could... You could see his eyes. Maul was a cloak for the longest time. Okay. Okay. My only real nitpick was the fact that um, Malgus isn't killing. I didn't like some of the fight scenes. They 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 killed um, they killed Han Solo, and I didn't like some of the fight scenes. But everything else, totally fine. You guys want to hear some facts about that movie? Yes, please. First and foremost, Star Killer Base is Ilum. <laughs> well, I was really hoping you were gonna say Star Killer. Uh, Star Killer is canon. No, Star like, Killer is yes, not Awakens. canon. Force Awakens. For not Force Awakens. Force, Force Awakens. Force Awakens. But the other yeah. thing was that um, Galen Merrick. <laughs> the other thing was that uh, the Force Awakens. I didn't have a problem with Force Awakens. I actually enjoyed the Force Awakens. It was nice. Okay. <gasps> Yay, stream's working. Echo. Yeah, I'm just closing my phone now. I just had to check. But yeah, I actually enjoyed The Force Awakens. I had no problem with that movie. Uh, Disney, what they were doing was they initially took a safe t- a, a safe corner. And they these these movies are for kids. Keep in mind, it's a kids movie franchise. But the thing hold I disagree on, hold with... Hold on. What? You gonna tell me Clone Wars is made for kids? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. Okay, but like, yes, we all watched so many This man guys literally this murdered movie. children. We, yeah, like, yeah, you don't we see watched it on screen. Did you know this guy killed like a couple children. dozen kids? Thank you, rat. Like, how old were you when you watched Clone Wars? You were a dickhead. Ah, fuck. You were five years old when it came out in 2008. 2008? Oh, God, I was four. Shit, really, I was zero. It was. I was, it, I was it came in, out in 2008, and then it finished in 2012. It was like four years or something like that, and it was good. Let me let me explain something to you. When it comes to the whole hate on the sequels and whatnot, it happened the same thing with the prequels. When the original fans came out and saw that the prequels, oh yeah, it's literally just this is not my Star Wars. It's not my Star Wars with my people. Because when it was the prequels, it's like, oh, he's not Luke, or, or Anakin's a bitch, like his acting is terrible. It is the exact same thing that Anakin. happened. But the pro- Anakin's entire shtick was that he's emotionally, like, distraught. He's got so much trauma. He's bad with, and, like, yeah, that's, social interactions. But that's fine. All he is is anger. But that's fine. Hayden Christensen, as an actor, is a damn good actor. It's just the writing that was given to him, and it is no different than the story. Was not done sequels. properly. It's no different than the sequels. It is literally just the writing. Now, if you look at the we're sequel trilogy, about Sam. yeah, we're talking about I don't like sand Sam. and creepy love scenes and fucking Jar Jar Binks. Like animals. Jar Jar was just comic there relief. There's nothing wrong with Jar Jar. That's the okay, bad part. Okay. He was just I... comic relief because George wanted him in. Fucking. You don't have to like him. You don't have to like him. I'm... This is probably going to be a controversial take, but frankly, I'm sorry. Except for Duel of Fates, I really didn't like Phantom Menace. That's okay. It just it just didn't hit home for me. I I, I, I liked Attack on Clone or Attack of the Clones. I didn't like the Dooku versus Anakin fight scene. Really? It's just the camera was too close. You can't see the well, thing like here. Or... Let me explain that. You can't see that. Let me explain that to you. <laughs> Christopher Lee was like seventy something when those movies came out. He couldn't do a lot of acrobatics, yeah. and if they wanted a close up shot of his face, they had I to do it. His stuff. Yeah, but like, you want to know something they, funny? They could. They could have done a. My what? my friend Chancellor and Mickey, they both swore up and down that Christopher Lee was fighting. Like we're doing the spins and shit. Like, no, that's not Christopher. He's that's a dude wearing a latex copy of Christopher Lee's head. Okay. Like, okay, I would have, I would have enjoyed if they just hand the camera out and had the stunt double do like a couple moves and then finish off Anakin. Same. Okay, I, I, I know, I know, it's Yoda's fight style, but I hated Yoda jumping around like this little green teddy bear, swinging like a tiny sword. I, I I don't hate Yoda's tiny sword. I love it. It's cute. 
But I don't like the fact that this motherfucker's swinging around like a tiny fucking gerbil, <laughs> jumping and shit. The whole Wait, cool no. force power thing was awesome. I liked it. He absorbed Dooku's lightning and shot it right back at him, and then he lifted the pillar off, like to save Anakin and Obi Wan. But the whole jumping gerbil shit. What the fuck? That's, it's like it's like, hey, no how are we gonna get them that. to fight? Eh, the height's different. No it's weird. All right, let's take that. a green ball. Let's take a green brawl ball and pretend it's Yoda. Let's just throw it around the room and see where it goes. <laughs> Bro, you're, that's practically flubber by definition. <laughs> Yoda is flubber confirmed. I, I love Wait, flubber. How old is Christopher Lee? Christopher Lee uh, passed, passed away, I think. Passed away. He's dead. Yeah, I think, I think, I think he died at 85. 93. Wait, what? 93? 93. Dude, he was in fucking Dracula. Yeah, he was Dracula. Oh shit. He was the staple of Dracula after the uh, the other movie. I think it was Bram Stoker's Dracula, and he did a damn good performance. Another funny thing, Christopher Lee worked with Peter Henning. Nope, sorry. That he that was did? that's not. Nope, no, no. I'm sorry. Um, no, I'm thinking of Alec Guinness and Peter Kushner. Oh yeah. Alec Guinness. I'm thinking of Obi Wan Kenobi. Christopher Lee. What, what was it in? No, wait a minute. I think it was. I think he did work with Obi Wan. I think he did. He played fucking. Imagine if the guy that played Gandalf played the Emperor. What? Mm, Imagine if the guy that played Gandalf played the Emperor. Did you really just. Wait, hold on. Which Just imagine how weird that would be. Oh, you mean the fact that, that Saruman the White and Dumble or, and uh, and <laughs> Saruman the White and Gandalf the White were working together in that movie? Is that what you're trying to get at? Like, if they did that, they'd have the combo of the wizards again. <laughs> the wizards. Yeah. But no, what I was trying to say was, I believe that Alec Guinness and Christopher Lee in, in their acting careers worked with Peter Kushner, Peter Henning, one of the two. I can't remember his name. It was Kushner. Mm -hmm. Jared Kushner. No, it was is Peter something. Cushing, Cushing. I'm sorry. Cushing. Cushing not Kushner. <laughs> he worked with Peter Parker. No, he. Parker. Worked, Kushner worked with Christopher Reeves on Dracula. Grand Moff Tarkin. Yeah, it says <clears throat> Peter Wilson Crushing OBE was an English actor best known for his roles in the Hammer production horror films of the 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s, and as Grand Moff Tarkin in the 1977 films. Yeah. Peter Kushner, or Cushing, sorry. Peter Cushing was Christopher Lee's friend. And so, and Alec Guinness was friends with Cushing too, because Cushing also did theater. So you've got Obi Wan Kenobi, or sorry, Ben Kenobi. You've got Count Dooku, yes. and you've got Grand Moff Tarkin. All three of these guys play together. And Christopher, Christopher, uh, not Reeves, he was in a wheelchair. Uh, Christopher Lee. Christopher Lee? Christopher Lee was a badass. You guys know that? This man yeah, was yeah. in the USAF, I think, Special Forces. And, uh, good God, dude. His family dates back to the royalty, the royalty of Charlemagne. How how fucking weird would it have been if they made Christopher Lee's Dooku instead of like an elegant fighter into like this like kind of ruggish barbaric pirate? Oh, I don't know. Like kind of like a pirate would would that? Okay, I'm not saying you know having a pirate Sith would be a bad idea. Guys, I'm just saying guys. what? What's up, Brett? Oh, oh, it's for. Uh oh. I think my connection my connection faded a little bit, right? What were you saying? So, uh, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill's sixty nine. He's sixty nine. Yeah. Nice. No, but um, but seriously, with with uh, okay, it's, it's a controversial take, but I genuinely I don't know why, I just kind of liked The Force Awakens better than Phantom Menace. I don't mind. I don't know. It's like it's not like they're two are on par. I'm 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 such a whore for graphics. Here, I really am. Let's let's I dissect love... let's dissect each movie starting off with. Fan We've already talked about Phantom Menace. Oh, Phantom Menace. Think about this way. Made... Back in the '90s, Star Wars was cutting edge. Oh yeah, absolutely. 
Like that's Star that Wars is, was the tippity top. If they, if they remade time, it, if yeah, if they remaster it, magnifique. Oh yeah, remaster it, not ma remade. Sorry. Yeah, if they re um, it'd be amazing if they did it with Phantom Menace, and we all can agree on that because the amount of dude, space. Dude, dude, imagine the dude. Imagine the fucking fight scene with Maul, Qui Gon, and Obi. Imagine those laser oh, doors they had. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Fucking lit. 4K HD boys. The light would actually HD. travel. The other thing you want to look at is the fact that lightsabers in that movie, before they uh, remodeled Yoda, which we'll talk about here and when we get to Attack of the Clones, the uh, the lightsabers in the other movies were just rotoscoped. They didn't actually affect the actors at all. It was just a, this bar that they traced over. So when you look at the actors, they don't really have light from the lightsabers. In any in any of the prequels or the originals, but what they did in the next movie, if you guys want to jump from Phantom Menace, uh, ah, uh. see the thing with me was just see. Jar Jar Binks seemed like a fill-in character for like a void that there was. You know, I'm not against comic relief, but like, I would have appreciated if he like attributed more to the story and the plot. He honestly did. He was the one that was tricked know. into convincing the Senate for, uh, oh god, what was it? Electing more powers for the pre for the Chancellor in the second movie. He was the one that was played. He was the one that actually sent the key motion legal problems off when it came to debating over the war. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know. He just seemed like, like okay, in a cool. newspaper you have your main article. That's obviously Obi-Wan. It's obviously Anakin and a little bit of Qui Gon. Mm -hmm. Dude, fucking Jar Jar Binks seemed like that fluff piece on like a nearby <laughs> store the market ad that, tells that you can sells. Get your dick okay. With one. He's pill. literally he's literally <laughs> the ad on Pornhub that's like if you take this pill you can get seven inches. When really we're just trying to fap to we're just trying to fap and cry to the comments. All we want. <laughs> the other thing you want to look at is the fact that. Phantom Menace had probably one of the best animations when it came to uh, motion blur. The pod racer oh, scene. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When it came to their physics yeah. and generating all of the momentum when Sebulba crashed, fucking amazing. Even if the modeling was a little funky, the way that he, the engine just explodes, if you go look at that like frame by frame, you can see every individual part just coming off that bitch. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> It's it's amazing to me how good they did, but uh, yeah. What favorite going down the list? I'm gonna start with uh, Ethan. Favorite and favorite and uh, favorite thing you liked about Phantom Menace, and one thing you detest. One thing I really detest is the um. Oh, one thing I detest. Actually, no. We'll start off with favorite. Favorite has got to be Duel of Fate's soundtrack and the whole fight scene. I love the choreography between both Qui-Gon Jinn and Maul and Obi-Wan and Maul. The fight scene was purely amazing. It was tactical. It was done properly. It looked real. It looked like a real fight. And that's what you want. Yeah. Liam Neeson but, also had sword training, if you didn't know. Yeah, yeah. He had... He didn't have... Uh, he had sword training from a role, right? It was another movie where he played a Scotsman. I can't remember the name. Yes. I, I don't remember the movie. But I do remember he did have intense sword training, which I, or not intense sword training, but he had a good amount of sword training. Yep. Um, and and the soundtrack for that was so good. I literally listened to Duel of Fates, and I'm not joking. Like I listen, I listen to it like a jazz club listens to soft jazz. As well, you listen to it like, like they listen to BB King, my guy. Being complain about your life issues. Okay. Uh, Yet Ep half hour. Epitaph. One thing I. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm just trying to change topics, Ethan, if that's okay. Oh, that's okay. Uh, Ethan, or, I'm sorry, not Ethan. Epitaph. Start both the E's. Same questions. F uh, favorite and something you detest about Phantom Menace? Uh, define to detest. Hate. Not a fan of. Um, dislike. The thing, uh, right, my favorite thing about the fan Phantom Menace? Probably... Maybe the pod racing scene. <laughs> yeah. There, I really love that. Just because, you know, yeah, I just went go-karting for the first time. He's a cars kind of guy. That. 
whenever I, I first went go I like it was right after my birthday when I first saw the Phantom Menace when I just went racing go karts for the first time and I was little when I saw it. <laughs> so I was like, oh yeah, I know that feeling. You're like, I get to pod race. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and then the thing I hated the most about it is how, like, in the uh, I was I lost the word. In the fight scene in Obi Wan Kenobi, Liam Neeson, Qui Gon Jinn, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the, well, I know the his name duel is of just fates call him. Yeah, I just don't like how they killed off a Jedi just by like a head, like a head stun. I just I don't was... like that. Yeah. No, he was he head, was stabbed in the chest, right? Head. He got smacked in this the is head, what... and then it caused his death. Like it was a, oh shit! I just stunned my opponent real quick. Now I have an opening. Oh, yeah, I, I thought it was a really poor use of a death on a character. Wait, hold on, like hold on. I, I hate to interrupt, but like I know I know what I don't like about the fucking uh the I know what I dislike about it. The fact that Anakin, you know, he's kind of like this like little kid. He's like seven or eight at the time. Nine. This man's is able to not only okay, nine. This man's is not only able to qualify for a pod race, win the pod race go into a Naboo starship or a starfighter and then fly into this big ass separatist like warship, blow up its reactor and fly out on I feel like that motherfucker should have been torched. Yeah, yeah, that's factual. Like yeah, sure he grew up in a scrapyard. He built the C three PO from scrap. But like Starfighter material? Alright, that's it. Sorry to interrupt. It's Imagine Anakin, but he has like a southern accent. Now this is cow tipping. <laughs> you brought him here to kill me. No. If you're you, not with you me, turn you're her in, You turned her against me. You did that yourself. From the way yourself. I see it, you, you, <laughs> no, I got the you. Jedi are I got you. It's <laughs> over, Anakin. I'm up here, and you're down yonder. <laughs> Don't you <laughs> underestimate my spit range. <laughs> anyway. Why um, personally attacked? Instead, instead of like lightsabers, they have like lassos and whips and shit. No, no, they have a pistol. Uh, rat. <laughs> yeah, just like quick draw. Uh, rat, same question. <laughs> yes. 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 That's your answer? What was the question? The question was, what is one thing you like and dislike about the first Star Wars? The Phantom Menace. The first prequel. Oh. Did this man really just type in the chat? <laughs> type. Oh, no. I'm assuming it's Rat because it's I enjoy the delicacy of Rat. The movie was called Rob Roy. Okay, thank you. I knew it was a movie about a Scotsman. Thank you. Rob Roy. That's what it fucking was. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> um. Favorite thing about Phantom Menace? Let's see. Uh. I, fucking, um. Uh. Uh. Soundtrack. Okay. That's. That's fine. Uh, I guess also the, the visuals in some of the parts okay. are pretty good. I don't like how you said that. Okay, you said okay. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm working on the Vader helmet while I'm talking to you guys, so it's like a, just a remark. That's all. I straight up meant uh, by it. Please say it. Thank you, my friend. It's a fucking Jar Jar motherfucking beings, dude. <laughs> like, like a, a Jar Jar makes me so want to go jump off a bridge. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Accurate. The fact that y'all didn't laugh is making this more awkward, and so <laughs> I'm just gonna pass off. Uh, I just hear some uncomfortable nose blowing. 
<laughs> um. So you what what did you do? you said you didn't like Jar Jar? No, I didn't. Okay, I True. didn't hear the True. the dislike part. All the way. I heard a part of it cut out for me. Jar Jar Binks is just. Fucking you just, yeah. Okay. Dingle donger. You're a schmeagle schmonger. Um, so since we got that out of the way, let's talk about Attack of the Clones. Oh fucking oh, bad. God. Well, the the main thing I like. I haven't is seen Attack of the Clones really? in a while. So. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen it in a while. I okay. Like maybe I, not since like. I think I like Attack of the Clones more than I do Phantom Menace. Like, I don't yeah, I like it, do but at the same time, I do like it. I don't so. know how to describe it. It's like I'm impartial towards it. It's like, oh yeah, it's Star Wars, yay! Oh, it's a Attack of the Clones. Oh, okay, I'll just. Take a nap. <laughs> what are we doing later? <laughs> Wake me up when Revenge of the this. Sith comes on. Can we all just take a few minutes to like just talk about the um guy, like like the the dinosaur looking fight a uh, uh, person who yes, attempted to kill Dooku. Oh, like, I know who you're talking about. Like, he, like uh, Trevor. Trevor, all of us. Trevor Coleman. <laughs> Trevor Coleman. No, Coleman Trevor. Trevor. Coleman Trevor. Coleman Trevor. Oh my god. Like, this he man spent all this life on the first name. The whole thing about Jedi's was being able to block blasters for fun. That was straight up one of the mo that was straight up one of the lightsaber techniques. It was like, oh yeah, blasters. Pew 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 pew. Man gets two tapped. We know what he didn't pass he, at the Jedi Academy. He's literally I swear to God, a copy and paste of a fucking parasaur on yeah. a human body. Yeah. Huge. It's disgusting. Like the fact and that the, this the, Lego out of this guy. He's like the stuff. Jimmy Woo of fucking hey, Star hey, Wars. Hey. Do, do not insult. Like okay, I glad. No, 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 no. I'm not insulting Jimmy Woo. I'm you just, just did. saying. You just did. You called him Coleman Trevor. You know how no, low that is. No, I compared them. Cause like I know fandoms that worship them, and it's like what? This is a bit right. There's people yeah. that worship Coleman Trevor. I've seen I've seen like multiple um, things where it's like, oh yeah, I watch Attack of the Clones for the plot. The plot, Coleman Trevor. <laughs> uh, same thing with uh, One Division. It's like I watch it for the plot, and then it just shows James Wu. Oh yeah, those are just memes. Or Jimmy Wu. Yeah. But uh. I think one of the I think one of the best things that did that movie. Was, I think the best thing that did that movie was probably the ending fight scenes. Like that's definitely where all the money went in because every single clone trooper you see is just CGI. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. When we say ending fight scene, we're talking the one with you know, Dooku, Anakin. We're Yoda, talking we about want, the entire. Are we talking like, the arena fight? We're talking about the entire like half hour of just nonstop beating the shit up people like. It starts off in the Genosan Arena, and then it hops okay. over to... Okay, uh, how, how far are we starting in the Genosan Arena? Are we talking right when they release the animals, or are we talking right when the clones come in and Jedi come in? Uh, both. I'm talking right about the animal part, like right when they get in and go, Good job! Oh, good job! It's like, we're here to rescue you. Nice throw. Good we're job. here to rescue, I, Master. Obi-Wan is such a dick in that movie. Straight up. He, I don't like that. Okay, it's what's good. He hasn't trimmed his beard. I don't like the mullet, but that's just that's just what happens. It's cool, it's rough, and irritating. Okay. The man didn't have a good day. He didn't have his coffee in the morning, so now he's just pissed. He's just shitty every time you see Obi Wan in the movie. I don't know. I feel like he's had enough of fucking any shit. Yeah, that's probably right. He's like, he's... Okay, you ever see a wine stepmom and they're living with, like, more than one child and they have to raise the kid? They don't fucking like the kid, but they love the kid, you know? That's it's like, much... God, if I could kill this thing, I would, but I can't. 
I don't know if, how far it'll go about killing. He's like, if I could disown you, I would, but you know, you kind of got left to me in my dad's will. <laughs> in my uncle's will? Who's not even my uncle? That's a total fucking accident. Yeah, okay, I view it as this man didn't agree to train Anakin. He did. But, no, okay, hold on. Um, <laughs> fucking, what's his name? Qui Gon wanted Anakin because Qui Gon was more. Not intelligent, but more wise. Debatable, and dude. Let's be let's be honest. Straight off the bat, if you're done being a Padawan, uh, one you can't just immediately go and train a Padawan. Like you got to build up your skill as master. Yeah. You know, he wasn't master Obi Wan. He he like just stopped being a Padawan. He was still going on you know co op missions. But like this man, straight out of the gate, it's like it's like if you get a job. That's like rush hour. They start you off with training, and then it's like, nah, lunch rush right now, constantly. That's Walmart. Every day is a lunch rush. That's Walmart. Yeah, it kind of sounds like a mixture of Walmart and Wal Amazon. Walmart and and uh, fucking curbside curbside drop off at Target. By the I, way, Jake, how was orientation? It was fine. I had no problems, but as soon as I got done, they stuck me on the floor and did stocking. So. Ooh, I love stocking so much. It's easy. It's literally just here. Read this number. Okay. That's the aisle number. Cool. Now count the shelves. How, what number shelf is it? Walmart only goes to 13 in an aisle. So let's say let's say the first the first tag of it is like A12. That's uh, section A and then it's the the 12th one, right? So like they have it's yeah. alphabetical. So like toys is mainly the letter M like mango. If you guys hear water, I'm cleaning my brushes. Okay. So, uh, like how toys is around M or N or O. Because that's just like, that's how it plays out. Like, if I wanted to, I need to go to like M32 or something. I'm like, okay, so that's the back wall. So I gotta go to the back wall. And if I, if I look left and right, it'll start off like the far left corner is one. I'm like, okay, I need to go to M32-1-13. Um, dash dash so, like, I gotta go to the first row. I gotta go all the way back to the back. I gotta go to the back of toys, all the way to the left. Look at the first shelf, and then count down left to right, and read the spots of the tags until I get to tag thirteen. Okay. But yeah. Anyways, yeah. Obi Wan kind of got thrown into it, and he became a Jedi Knight as soon as he got. Um, he as soon as Qui Gon like when he died, and uh, when Yoda's like, train the boy, you will, and just shit like that. It's like, are you really gonna tell a dying man on this bed? Sorry, Chief, I ain't ready for this. No, it's not even that. It's the fact that the Jedi Council only did it because it was a dying wish. That was a like, main thing. It was the fact that Qui Gon died is what got Annie in. Yeah. Yeah. I see it. But like, okay. Oh, I'm not even gonna start bitching. Um, the other thing I was gonna talk about is the fact that in Attack of the Clones, there's a ten year gap. We don't see anything they do. Not a damn thing. I would have I would have enjoyed a good like training session, like a training scene. Between like Anakin and Obi Wan, where like Obi Wan's frustrated because Anakin can't learn, and Anakin's just trying to gain his approval because he wants some form of father figure. Mm -hmm. And then like instead of him going off, okay, I know it's whole part of his character arc about how he's emotionally distraught and angry and volatile and shit. Because that's a good word for him. He's volatile. Unstable. Um, it's cool. I would. I would have liked. I would have liked he stress, but like if he just got really mad at a couple of training droids, cut them up, and then like or like uh Obi Wan came in to like check on him and he's like embarrassed that he got angry. Yeah. Cause like it's not the Jedi way. Who'd have been like, oh, I'm sorry. And then like that would that would help so much better, like cause Obi Wan is literally the restraint of the team. Like, he's always, hold on, let's do things cautiously, let's do things properly by the book. Mm -hmm. And then Anakin's like, nah, fuck that. I and just jumps on people and attacks the channel. Um, but, like, 
It would have it would have been so much better if it's like Obi Wan is his only restraint. Yeah. And then when Obi Wan isn't there, no restraint. He just kills everything. I. But the problem with that is Anakin does have the code. Like that's one of the main things is he is the most conflicted character in those movies. It's not about the going on a tangent and or a murderous spree. If you look at him, he's honestly trying to finish the code. Like he's honestly trying to stay with the Jedi code and his feelings for Padme, even if they're badly written out for him to act, his feelings for Padme were true, and the whole thing was, I want us to be a Jedi, but I love you, but I want to be a Jedi, but I'm a simp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I simp for the Jedi Code, Obi-Wan, <laughs> Anakin bitches be like... To be honest, you're not exactly a simp if you get the girl. Okay, you can still simp for a girl, even when you have her. No, that's just called PW. True. It's called PW. P what? I can't say it on what? stream. Uh. I'll tell you oh, the second oh. word is whipped. Oh. Oh yeah, that shit. Yeah, the second word is whipped. I I can actually imagine someone like <laughs> taking it out, extending it, and then whipping someone as no. extending it and no. putting it back. It's kitty whipped. There we go. I know, I know, I know. I know what you're thinking of, but... Like... Uh, what am I thinking of? What am I thinking of? Um... What are you doing, Step Master? Oh, Jesus. It, it would have been so much better. Okay. If I, if I had to say the thing I do like about Attack of the Clones and the thing I don't like, the thing I like is, honestly, Anakin's whole, like, angry character arc build-up. Mm -hmm. And, like, it, it, it shows you and introduces you to the real Anakin, not this shy little boy who's, like, always happy. It's this an emotionally hell-bent, you know, damaged child who needs someone, who needs to be needed, who needs to be wanted, who needs to be an important part, but he's not. Everybody just sidelines him. It shows you how angry he truly is. And it, it, it's, just, it's just so much more conflicting with the fact that Palpatine was the only one there for him. Of course he doesn't like you. Of course he turned to the dark side. You weren't there for him. You weren't his friend. Like, yeah, you were still his friend, but like... We're jumping into Revenge like of the brother. Sith territory right here. Yeah, I know. It just, it, I just like how it went from child, emotionally hellbent teen, to daddy issues, daddy issue teenager. Or like daddy issues... Uh, like, um... I like I like the whole emotional thing, like it truly showed off his character. Uh, one thing I hated, honestly, a lot of the fight scenes again, but mostly just towards the end with Yoda. I didn't have a big problem with it, but it's like it, it's the only way to change the height difference. I would have enjoyed seeing a lot more of like Dooku like doing a backflip jumping away and Yoda like jumping through his arm or like in between his legs and some shit cuz he's a lot smaller and i know that like his technique has to like vary for size to size so like he has to jump and try to strike him but i don't know it's just he's an old man let him be old uh one imagine one... sorry go ahead Rat. Yoda but like could you imagine Yoda but, like just 6 foot buff as hell just holding like a miniature lightsaber. His name Yo, bro. He would not be his Yoda. lightsabers. His lights. He'd be Yo Barbell. <laughs> Yo, <dude. laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo, Donna. It's like a black fucking um, baby Yoda. But there is one thing about that fight I want to talk to you guys about, and it's actually really cool. Yes. That is, Dooku versus uh, Yoda is the first time we actually see. Well, I mean, to be fair, let me back up. When you look at the Anakin versus Ob uh, versus Dooku fight, where he's just swinging the sabers over his head, you can see that's that's one of the first fights where lightsabers actually light up an actor's face. But yes. Yoda versus Dooku was the first where CGI models lit up, and the fact that if you look at Christopher Lee's face, no color, it's just straight up just regular set lighting. If you look at Yoda, he's got flecks of green and red all over him. As in, they still rotoscoped the blades like in the original trilogy in the, in the previous movie. But, on Yoda, since he's a 3D model, they could generate the saber light. 
It's a little cool thing that ILM did that I actually thought was yeah, really interesting. Just get, a, just get a fucking flashlight and a piece of colored glass. I'll take care you of your lighting problems, sir. You couldn't. Sir. They went full force contact in these movies. If you look at Revenge of the Sith, how... Or not even that. Look at the look at the training videos for The Phantom Menace, where Ray Parker and Ewan McGregor are training. They break those things so many times. Yes. Oh, yeah. And they were using, I think, aluminum pipes or something. Like, they were bending them. The amount of force they are putting behind them, they were breaking them so many times. How long has the stream been running for? I don't know. Uh, man. We've been on for about an hour now. Uh, exactly. It's in forty-five seconds. When it comes to uh, when it comes to the whole um, God, what was I going to say? When it comes to the whole writing Anakin's uh, love story out with Padme, that's probably one of the, probably one of the hardest things to watch through that movie. Natalie Portman. And I don't like that. They're not bad actors. It's so awkward. It's just how George wrote it. It's, it's legit. Just... <laughs> Almost rough and irritating. The only, the only scene that's not uncomfortable to walk to watch through is the scene where he goes, I hate them! Like, because that is some damn good acting. Everything else, like some other episodes, like the one where she goes, I've been in pain every time I saw you, it's, it's like a kick in the teeth because you got all these scenes where she just can't stand the sight of him or can't go near him. Stuff like that, and then you've got the following scene where she's like, "I love you, even if we're gonna die." I'm like, "What? The f where did that come from?" It's, it's oddly written. Is the nicest way to describe that relationship. She changed her views on sand. That's what. Hey. I mean, what? I like sand. What do you guys think about? The uh, what is the best thing in that movie? It, Ethan already answered. He said that. I think Ethan. Answered. Yeah, I'm really the backbone of Star Wars nerds. Excuse me, boys. I must have been that comfortable. Nose blue. Okay. I'll just pop the mute button or something. But um, it could have been a lot better. Is the easiest way to describe it. It could have been a lot better. The only th really problem I saw with that movie was uh, Anakin and Pad Padme's relationship. Everything else, I had no issue with it. Did you guys hear me or no? Indeed, yes. I heard you. Okay. Um, but like, I... Uh, their relationship is honestly, in my opinion, a bit uncomfortable to watch. It is uncomfortable to watch. Yes, indeed, indeed, yes, yes. For the sole purpose of one, I wouldn't know what the fuck a relationship is, and two, and two, I don't want to listen to a guy ramble about sand for two minutes. I don't. Like, fucking... I'm sad about the like sand. <laughs> you wanna know why I turned to the dark side, Obi-Wan? Not because of Padme, not because of my mother, but because of the fucking sand. You wanna know how I got these scars? You wanna know how I got these scars, Obi-Wan? Well, you see, he my father didn't exist. Like this man just got the lip smacking in. I don't know how to feel about that. My father. My father. This. We're still in Revenge of the Sith territory. Killer Joker is actually the most realistic of a like a. The Joker might have been in real life. That was the whole point of Heath Ledger's Joker, my guy. No, like, like how yes. he would talk. Stuff like that. That was the whole point. Like, straight up. It was literally... Yeah. That Batman series, yeah. like the Christian Bale one, was literally to exemplify what a modern-day Batman could look like, given the right technology. Hey, okay, what up? I'm the Joker. <laughs> but, uh... I'm gonna jump back here. 
We're gonna, we'll go into probably one of the most renowned and in some cases hated Star Wars film when it comes to the prequels. Revenge of the Sith. Oh, yes. no. Well, I mean, it's, we gotta go through it. Come on. Uh, okay. Favorite, probably the whole dialogue fight scene with Anakin and Obi-Wan on Mustafar. I'm sorry. I know. It's probably gonna be cringe, because, like, oh my god, that's everyone's favorite scene. Of course, because it's the two brothers fighting. It's like, no. You're my brother, Anakin. It's like disciplining your favorite child. It's like it's your like when your favorite teacher doesn't like you today. It hurts your heart. Because this man's poured everything. His emotions, his love, his hatred, his, his, his literal, like, he lost an arm. This man's lost his sanity. This guy lost every friend, and he only had to deal... Or, well, the only friend he had left was Palpatine, this evil guy who was supposed to be, like... He is his only friend, and apparently he's evil, but he doesn't want to see him that way because he's only been accepting. It's like... It's not just that. <sighs> I'm not disagreeing with you, but the other thing that Papa needed was he promised him a way to save Padmaid. When the ironic part yeah, was, it's... his paranoia is what killed her. It's yeah. one of the main things. If you have a premonition about something and you want to change it, chances are Hold you on. wanting to change it is what's going to end up causing it. Hence every single episode of fucking what's that? Hence every fucking episode of that. So Raven. I've never actually watched that. You fucker. I never actually watched it, I'm sorry. But... I understand. Have a nice day. <laughs> Revenge of the Sith definitely has the best CGI out of all three of them. Yeah. Um, Especially with the um, clones. Yeah. They did really good. The other thing I really... The other thing I liked about the movie was the relationship between Anakin and Obi-Wan. Because this is where we get to see them in their prime. This is the best way for them to exemplify their skills and it's one of the highest we see them like in the other previous movie it's a 10 year gap between uh, Phantom Menace and a 3 year gap between uh, Attack of the Clones and in those 3 years the Clone Wars show comes on Anakin meets uh, Ahsoka and becomes their master yada yada but we didn't know that then that didn't come out till years later um, what happened for Revenge of the Sith is you got to see Anakin after years of war. And it, it, frankly, is my favorite version of him, just because, not because of nostalgia purposes, but because he's at his prime. This is at his peak, yeah. and if he's going to go any further, he's just going to be a master at that point. And had he... I feel like he already was a master, except for the emotional parts. Fighting-wise, force-wise, all this guy had to focus. All this guy had to focus was was his daddy issues. If he, he would have literally discipline been a himself, he would have been a master. That is the main thing. His behavior. If you look at the the movie version of the the council scene where he's talking to Mace Windu about this is so outrageous, it's unfair. Nothing. He just bitchy. But if you look at the novelization. When Mace Windu tells him, take a seat, Anakin went off. When I tell you, this man well, I think... bitched out the entire cancel, cancel, the entire council. His exact words when Windu told him to take a seat, he said, I might as well take yours. Man said, fuck around and the find The novelization of Anakin is so much better. I think I think the main thing with uh, Mace Windu asking Anakin to take a seat was like a test of discipline. Can this man follow orders? Can this man really be trusted with the rank of master? Because like if this man fans can't follow an order, like hey, hey, sit down. The other thing is uh, the other like, thing is the fact that how are you gonna trust him with master if you can't trust this master? The other thing was that put him on the council. That was the main reason why the Jedi didn't want to do it. Because there's already been enough meddling in the Jedi as is. And the fact that Anakin was so close to the Jedi, and he was so close but to, to the, this... the circle of ma the, the council, whatever, since he was so close to all of them, it looked like Palpatine was trying to get his own man on there, just to give him his own 
opinion because he's so close to Palpatine. Basically, whatever Anakin says about the Council is through Palpatine. If that makes sense. He wanted he wanted a vote he could control. Exactly. So that's one of the points that was like eh, untrustworthy about. But when they let him on the Council, it was, hey, uh, we're gonna let you on here, but we're not gonna give you Master because one, you're on. We don't know if we can trust Master. Two, we can't trust you. So when Mace tells him, when Anakin goes and reports saying that he's a Sith Lord, when Mace tells him that, that's when he says, you will have earned my trust, when he sends him to the council to wait, it was because he was going to make him a master when he came back. Had Anakin stayed, instead of running over and cutting off Mace's hand and proceeding to get him killed, he was going to become a master. Mace was going to realize that Anakin is trustworthy and that his, his senses are right, and he was going to put him on the council. But no. No, he had to go and save Padme and screw everything up, and then go kill the. Bunch well, of kids. okay. Um, his his emotions blinded him. It's like that is the problem. His... That is well, exactly the whole the character problem. arc is that he is emotional. That's, has issues. That is exactly where it all went downhill. The, he was his own character flaw. Precise. Well, he his emotions were the character flaw in his character. That's that's. Well, yeah, that but it. like, he. Okay. Uh, how do I describe it without sounding off? It's like if he could put his he emotions was his own aside when necessary. Yeah, he was his own problem. The, what do you guys think about the fight scene with Obi Wan and Anakin? Uh, it's golden. Properly done. Ten out of ten. The only thing I didn't like was by choreography and the form. Good looks. What do you mean for choreography? Fuck, choreography was amazing, dude. Yeah, the kid. I don't want to understand why he said he's getting pretty lagged up for me. I have no idea. Fuck what I said. I forgot what I said. Hang on. Something about choreography. Fucking. I can't remember. Dude, I'm too fucking high right now. Hi. Fucking. It's a fucking animals. We can be slam hard though. This man should hear. I gotta talk to Jake. Let me pop an edible. Pretty much what it was. They were shaking a fucking Flintstone fight and then like this. I hate you. I'm not fucking joking. I'll send you a picture of the fucking bad game. <laughs> um. When it came to the dialogue, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Do you guys want to take apart that sentence real quick? Chris <sighs> mm. Mance was betrayed. He let his issues take control of him. Because the only person that accepted him was Palpatine. And he views them as evil because they're accepted. I think, I think the main thing with Anakin was that he kind of liked the Jedi Order. Because it gave him stability. But he loved Padme because of his emotions. And it was like... I don't know how to describe it. It was... um, It was like almost he wanted a way out... Of the Jedi Order. But still wanted to be a Jedi. Because it gave him stability and a purpose. Mm -hmm. It gave him like... A channel... To put his... Not his anger, but like... His... Need... For acceptance. Mm -hmm. And that stuff. What do you guys think about the reaction when Vader asks, and because Vader now, when he asks Palpatine, where's Padme? Oh, we should say that the Flintstone might have been gummies. Hang on. <laughs> 
These are Flintstone vitamins. <laughs> Jesus, rat. <laughs> They're fucking Flintstone vitamins. They're not, they're not fucking Flintstone vitamin gummies. <laughs> fucking, my god. Look like fucking Haribo gummies. Fuck <laughs> you. Um. Fucking. They did. Look like fucking Haribo gummies. <laughs> we guys like to hear something that people theorize about for a while. I swear to God, if you say, I swear if you say Jar Jar Binks, the uh, fucking Sith no. Lord. <laughs> no. no, I was gonna say. I saw. Um, one of the things I theorized for a long time was the fact that Palpatine. He found a way to prolong life, but it wasn't the way Plagueis did. It was draining the light, kind of like a Fountain of Youth situation. It was draining the life of one to prolong the life of another to keep them alive. There's a theory that he, instead of Padme just dying out of sadness, he drained her to save Anakin, or to save Vader. And the pain it caused him would make Vader's force ability so much stronger in the dark side. That's one of the theories. The other theory is that, well, I think it's confirmed, that Plagueis' meddling in the, in the force, messing with midichlorians, created Anakin on accident as a result. Yes. So, in reality, um, Anakin, if you think about it, is a form of incest. Mm, no, Anakin is the force reacting and saying, oh, hell no. I beg your pardon, sir. It's Plagueis. When, when he kept people alive that he cared about, when he prolonged their death, the midichlorians went, alright, fucker, guess what? And he just went, and there's a chosen one. <laughs> it was, and there it is. Just, there is a massive dark side coming up, and there must be a massive light to balance it out. And because of Plagueis meddling with the midichlorians and trying to make the strongest dark side user, he ended up making the strongest light side. The Chosen. Yes. Vader's personality is so screwed up. It is, yes. Indeed. Because if you thought Anakin killing sand people was hellbent, good god. You could not. I beg if your pardon. You could not get away from Vader. Was the scary part. Yeah, Vader was on your ass like a fucking. Um. He was like, he was giving you like shit on Velcro. <laughs> he was slaps. My mother, after she's had too much drink, you know. Anyways, um, <laughs> I, just like, fucking, I just got that. <laughs> um, fucking edibles at twelve oh five in the morning. It's one oh five for me, bitch. We're in the same time zone, bitch. No, we're not. Or did you? Oh no, it's not. Fuck. Did you really just say that? I, I, I said, oh, you said yeah, yeah. You said twelve oh five. We're in the same time as a. No, we ain't. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> that almost made me fucking stupid. Okay, if I'm, I'm, I'm already stupid to begin with. No, you don't say. Really. Hmm. Jake, you're talking to the person who once called General Grievous a sex move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
of the old days, uh, when my voice was much higher. You mean like three months ago? Yes, indeed. Three and a half. Uh, this server has been up since September, so let me count. October, November, December, January, February. We're coming into the six month, guys! Yay! Uh, almost a year. Which reminds me, if my account just gets randomly fucking deleted, it's because my mother has found out what crazy shit I've been doing. Oh. Oh, that reminds me, I blocked my mother on TikTok. She found it. She Dude, I'm glad my mom doesn't have she TikTok. She found my TikTok and posted it on Facebook. With her 400 <laughs> some friends, and I told her, remove it, unless she wants everybody on that fam on her friend page seeing me talking shit about all the horrible things they've done. Or me cussing and people the out, why didn't or me supporting my friends that are gay. Because a good chunk of my family's Republican, like, unless you want them to keep a nice image of me and me not hold a lighter under it and say, come here, bitch. <laughs> Delete it. Like, the, like, the only reason why my, my Instagram name isn't I love rats who pee on me is because as I was making my Instagram account, my mother was right next to me. She said, um, yeah, I don't like that name. Uh, do you think you change it to something more child friendly? Bitch. B man. Bitch. <laughs> don't you fucking dare. Don't don't disrespect me like that, sir. B man forty seven. Respect the drift, sir. I can I I can admit that most southern moms are Karen's. But my mom, if someone just, you know, cuts her off one time a day. She will literally beat oh, okay. the by the steering wheel. Howdy. Yeah, she is very bad. Oh, there we are. Real rage. I'm Martha Morgan. Rage. Uh, the, five, the, the four rules of, of the cowboy. Oh, who joined? Oh, hey, Google what's number. up? We've been, on, yeah. uh, we've been on stream for about an hour and 20 minutes now. Go ahead and introduce yourself real quick to the stream. Welcome to stream. Welcome to Cup of Eggnog. Oh, she made it. The Discord, the Discord is she mute? thing that we haven't used before. How dare you? How dare you mute yourself? Hey, who would win? Jimmy Woo or Rock Boner? Why do her roles consist of slut and daddy's little plaything? Rat, I have the same ones, and I think you do too. E oh yeah, shit, oh. Oh shit. Like, oh fuck. Yeah, I got both of them too. Wait. Only person here doesn't have him is Epitaph. Yeah, epitaph. Just with epitaph. Is he a slut? Screw you. That's not like I am. I want to go lay down on my bed, but but there's a fucking air conditioner going on, and I fucking. I got an idea. I want to ask you guys. You guys want to play the question game? Oh yeah, yeah. dude. I, I suck at the edge here. Yeah. It's fine, but the rules that I normally play by is you can ask any question. You get three dodges, as in you don't want to play it, you don't want to answer the question, there you go. The other rule is you cannot ask the same question as a return question. So like if we say Epitaph, if I Three. ask Epitaph saying what's your favorite color, he can't turn to me and go what's your favorite color. It won't count as a turn. It'll be considered something called a rebound, kind of like my last relationship. Um, yeah. So... You have, like, if you say, oh, yeah, uh, uh, if someone asks me a question, like, oh, yeah, what was your favorite? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What, right? Are you talking to me? I was just. Well, well F, 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 uh, in, in the general chat, I was half just said, and I quote, Add King of the Pizza Rolls, you're my comrade now. <laughs> <laughs> but 
basically it. Yeah, if you say rebound, that's just buying you more time for a question. Is that all right? Uh, yes. That? Okay. So the attendance list on my page is Sky is Epitaph, Rat, myself, and Zucchini. So we're gonna go in that order, but depending on who goes first is where we start in the line. No. Oh. Anybody volunteer? Uh, uh, we can roll a D4. I can roll a D4 right now. Let me go get it. I have a D4 right next to me. Oh, cool. Then do it then. Keep it. And... Two. Two, so rat. Oh, Wait, do I have to ask? Yeah, you ask somebody a question. It's your choice. You can either ask one or all. One is easier. It's okay. up to you. Uh, fucking. Alright, Jake. Why do you follow me? On what? The fuck. Fucking Twitter, no, it's a t uh, the TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have Twitter. Uh, <laughs> I, sarcasm, I, know, sarcasm. I followed you on TikTok. Well, I have you on Snap, too. Oh, shit, so, yeah, you're right. We just don't text. We don't talk anymore <laughs> like we do. Copyright to see my stream right now. Right now. Um, We're sorry, but the stream you're watching hasn't... <laughs> Um, but no, I was gonna say, I followed you because one, you were commenting on my videos for the longest time, and I mean the fucking longest. Well, like the first ever fucking all night wizard video, just, just, just yeah, all night the all night. Yeah, the first day I started posting all night wizard, this man comments all night the all night wizard on every single video, not even all night wizard ones, just every single one that popped up. He was the original account spammer. For me, at least. Yes. And he hit a SpongeBob picture. And I, j I remember oh, thinking about. Yes, you did. You had a SpongeBob profile picture. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, I did. That was over a year ago now, but I know it's about to be a year ago in April. And I, I thought it was the weirdest thing because I'd never had an account spammer before. I'm like, okay, cool. So when I started reacting to it, you you started catching on more, and it seemed like you were enjoying my content, yada yada yada. And when you quoted me on the Dan Bam 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 th or Daniel whatever his name is um, I started like reacting to you more and more and more and you started like getting more into tagging me and stuff and we chatted and eventually I added you back because you know what I thought you seemed pretty cool and your videos were funny so I straight up added you because I thought you were a funny guy turns out I was wrong Here was I was like, oh, that's so wholesome, and then I was like, I was wrong. <laughs> no, but in all honesty, I thought you were hilarious. That's like, yeah, that's fine. I'll add it back. You, that's why you were one of the. That's why you were one of the first three I invited to the Discord server because you were around for so long, and uh, when you made the All Knowing Wizards Apprentice, that's that's what really set me off. I'm like, mother of God, this man actually likes my shit. Yeah, I'll follow him back. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Reaper mask, an uh, old lady cane, and a bath towel. Oh, fuck. We, we don't talk about that. <laughs> okay. So the other rule is whoever you ask, you popcorn off of that, if that makes sense. So it, it's my turn. Um, Princess. Yo. Yeah. Do you remember the first video of my videos that came up on your For You page? I do. Um... It, I, I believe it was, it was an all-knowing wizard video. <laughs> uh, I didn't just call it until then. I was like, huh, that looks familiar. And then I watched it again, and I'm like, oh, that's Jake. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, that's Jake. You didn't recognize my like, face after almost a decade of knowing me? <laughs> what kind of shit is that? <laughs> Because no, I, 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 when I scroll through my For You page, I don't really pay attention. So I'm just like, oh, it's cool. I'm that kind of person. Um, 
and I was like, that's weird. I'm like, I'm gonna follow him. <laughs> and I followed you, and I was like, that's cool. And I was like checking you for followers. I think you had. Um, I didn't have. A I don't remember how many followers you. I only had. You didn't have a lot. I didn't follow you. I didn't have a. Th I didn't have a lot until uh, June or July. I think it was July. Yeah, I didn't have a lot till July when Mickey told me to do the Aries joke, and his and the joke we made got half a million views. Yeah. Yeah, like five hundred k. But it, it was it was just funny because I was like sitting there in the living room with my mom, and then I'm just like scrolling to TikTok, and I'm just like verbally screaming, "Oh my god, that's fucking Jake!" <laughs> and my mom's like, "Who who the fuck is Jake?" And I'm like. Mom, the man I've known for literally Did you just call me forever. Huh? Did you just call me man? No, I said the man. Yeah, that's what I mean. Man. I'm like, you, you, why did you... Man, of all words to describe my dumbass. Man. Alright, cool. How dare you assume my gender? What would you like me... What would you like me to refer to you as? I am a bubble. Nothing more, the nothing bubble less. The bubble I've known for fucking... <laughs> How long did we know each other? Uh, second grade for you, third for me, fourth for me, something like that. No, because you're only a year older than me, so to yeah, I've been third grade for you. Uh, a good ten years, something like that. I don't know. And something, something around that, but yeah. yeah so princess, that, that, it was it was funny. When you're yeah, when you're ready, it's your turn. Um, epitaph. What? Oh, I wasn't thinking of a question. Mm -hmm. Um, what's your favorite passing time? If you say masturbating, I swear. Wait, what do you mean? Like, like thing what do you do to pass time? time? Yeah, like hobbies, time killer. Uh, sleep. <laughs> Same. <That's>, uh, <laughs> TV. Video games, basic, basic bitch stuff. There you go. You sound like every 13 year old in a, in a fucking middle school. Fucking, well, what do you do? What do you want to do for a living, Johnny? Fucking, uh, that, that, never mind. The fucking. So, rat. What? What is your favorite kind of drink? Man. Come. Um. <laughs> <laughs> like, like cold or hot? <laughs> like, like cold drink or hot drink? Nope, don't you Soft care. drink, you got beverage, I don't care. Oh, you shouldn't have it's said you don't care. To the question. <clears throat> this is actual <clears throat> beverage. Cool. <laughs> actual beverage, my guess. Don't you say You're saying that can't be a beverage. It's just for a bit of milk. Oh my god, I'm going to kill you both. <laughs> you wouldn't kill me, you know it. I get too bored. Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm not opposing. Fucking kill me off, please. Well, I, I guess fucking either coffee or Mountain Dew, but Diet Mountain Dew, because what the, the fuck it. You drink Diet Mountain Dew. Yeah, I mean sometimes you got to. I, mean, I don't. I know it doesn't make a difference, but yeah. I mean, if you don't have, if you have it, Mountain Dew and you have to drink, Mountain, you have to drink Diet because you don't have any. That's fine. But why are you drinking di Diet Mountain Dew? The sugar content doesn't matter. Because I fucking like the taste. Understand? We'll have a nice day. <laughs> Cut. Why do you think I drink cum every five minutes? Because okay. I like the taste. 
Sorry, I forgot. I forgot your life. Just like cinnamon. Salty and bland rat. I can't get behind it. <laughs> Did you just say I'm salty and bland? Dude, the only person who had a personality that had the spice of flour was Tyler. The the one that used to date Abby. <laughs> Yeah. That man's personality flavor, if it was a spice, it was just baby powder. <laughs> oh my God. Well, John, what did it taste like? I love that joke so much. When you said Tyler, you said Dar you know Darren, right? Duh, I, I was, his brother mentored me for two and a half years. I like right, Vincent cool. a lot better than Darren. Darren's a douche. Yeah, I, I do too. Um, Darren used to go by Tyler a lot. And so this Tyler, I was like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> so confused. And then I realized, wait, wrong Tyler, wrong Tyler. But, uh, yeah, whose question is it? It's rats. Dude. It's rats. Oh, shit. Um, what's one flavor of Gatorade that you wish exist. Uh, Lime. it's fucking zucchini. Oh. What? Shit, you, did, you gotta say the name first, damn it. I thought you were asking everybody. All of them. I did, all of you. Do it. All of you. Hey, what was the question? What, what question? flavor of Gatorade flavor would you never, like, if you could remove it, what would you remove? Um, fucking, fucking uh, Glacier Cherry. I hate that shit. That shit's <gasps> so fucking gross to me. The white one? <laughs> Yes, that shit tastes absolutely fucking putrid to me. Just... I hate it. Then they used to make a coconut flavor. I don't remember. I think one flavor I couldn't get behind was the green one. Apple? Yeah, I couldn't get behind apple. Uh, my favorite flavor is the strawberry watermelon one. My, I like my favorite flavor was Glacier Freeze, or Glacier Chill, one of the two. Yeah, I don't like Glacier Cherry, it's just... It's, I said chill. I don't know, it's chill. The, the, the light blue, not the dark blue one. Yeah, I know. I just, I couldn't get behind the taste of it. Okay, Alright, right, since this comes to go to all of us, who, whose turn is it? I was gonna say rat selects after this. Oh, uh. Up top. Yeah. It's your turn. <laughs> Yeah, let me think. Uh, I got, I got go. Shoot. Jake. Yeah. What is your favorite movie besides Star Wars? Oh, God damn it. Um. <laughs> damn you. It's because it's <laughs> I like a lot of different movies, but I don't have a certain like specific set. It's like, yeah, I'm a fan of Star Wars. Yeah, I'm a fan of DC. Yeah, I'm a fan of Marvel. Um, but if I'm going to be honest with you, if it wasn't Star Wars, it would jump between, uh, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, or, uh, oh god, Sleepy Hollow. I've got a few that stick out. I don't have one singular favorite. Like, if I want to go watch a Star Wars movie, my immediate go-to is Empire Strikes Back. If I want to watch Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. If I want to watch Lord of the Rings, uh, The Fellowship of the Ring. If I want to go watch a Christmas movie, Polar Express. Like, it's just... I don't really have one specific set one. Rat. Sounds about... Okay. If you could change one thing about me, what would you change? Yes. Ow. Fucking, uh... Not that, um... <laughs> height. Height? Why, you want me to be shorter? To make you 4'8". Fucking... 4'8", yeah. You don't like that I'm like an inch and a half shorter than you, and you're just like, I want you to be shorter. Do not question the elevated one, bitch. 
How's the weather down there? Rainy. That's all you, that's all you want to do. You just want to spit on me, you kinky shit. Don't you lie to me. I see through the lies of the Jedi. I was, I was gonna make a piss joke. I was gonna... <laughs> golden rain, golden rain. Some stay dry and others feel the pain. I hate that. So How's the weather down there? I love the pissing. <laughs> Alright, right, it's your turn. Alright, um. A zucchini. Yes. What's your favorite uh, vegetable? A zucchini. My favorite vegetable? Shut, shut the fuck up. Um, yes. If not by, if not evident by my name, zucchini, but that's not my vegetable choice. My vegetable choice would be broccoli. Cause, yeah. Good choice. All right, princess, your turn. Jake. See, senor. Senorita. Anyways. Same thing. Um. Oh, fuck, I lost my question. Oh, never mind. I remember. Um. What was something weird that you grew up with as a child that you don't think very many people else did? Uh, my brother's teeth. A good spot. With a golf club. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. I've told that story before on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I knocked my brother's teeth out with a golf club when he was like two years old. Oh yeah. yeah I was gonna say Rat loved that series. Why? Oh, it was an accident. Oh my god. Okay, we were playing. I'll tell the story real quick. We were playing golf in the uh, in the in the dining room. We have a big dining room. Let's say I think it's fourteen feet by eight feet, something like that. No, it's either 14 by 10. It's a big, pretty big room. We had a decently sized house growing up. Um, but we lived in the middle of that fucking nowhere. Uh, we had a big dining room table, just a round table that sits five people, and then there was a piano at the back of the room, and then there was a hutch towards the back. The dining room had two doors, right? It had the one to the back on the... So you had 14 feet sideways. It's kind of like a big, wide hallway. And at the end of each hallway is a doorway to the kitchen, and the other side is the living room, right? Well, I was on towards the living room doorway side, and Caleb was towards the kitchen side. He, I gave... I had a driver, or I had some sort of fat golf club. I don't remember. I don't play golf. It was one of the wide ones that looks like a... Kind of like an egg shape. It, it's, yeah. it's fat. Caleb, I, I, a driver. I gave him a, a light-up candy cane you stick in the yard. I distinctly remember that, because we are messing around in the basement. And we found it. But, uh... We were passing a, a golf ball back and forth. Just calmly passing it. And uh, we, we put one rule, and that was play it where it lies. Uh, I couldn't play it underneath the kitchen table because my golf club was too tall. So I picked up the golf ball and moved it to in front of me. And Caleb goes, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. So he starts, like, he gets on all fours, and I'm just going to swing him. Like, I'm just going to play. If we want to keep playing, I'll keep hitting it. He starts crawling towards me. I close my eyes and swing. <laughs> Straight up, close my eyes and whack. Smack four him. Teeth. Smack him right in the front teeth. The first, like, the first four on your top jaw, boom, gone. Bottom four. Did you bent. notice it at first? Oh, I I noticed it. Trust me. You heard the click, smack, and then crying as loud as you can. Dad comes around the corner. Never had to deal with this in his life. Just sees Caleb with his face bleeding. His teeth literally knocked back into his face. Um, he starts freaking out. He's like, God. And then you at the golf club. Yeah, me at the golf club. <laughs> I felt terrible. They drove him to U of M. Mom, mom came rushing home to the the U of M because she worked at CVS at this point, and uh, she she came back from the pharmacy just hauled ass. Drove Caleb to U of M emergency, and Dad went with them. But they dropped me. They had a. I I don't remember this part. 
I don't remember this part for the life of me, but they, one of my, either my grandfather or my grandmother got me one of the two, but I somehow ended up at my grandma's house. And uh, I distinctly remember telling my grandmother, I didn't mean to do that, and I hope he's going to be all right. At like four years old. And then he comes back from the doctors the next day with all of his teeth ripped out. He didn't sleep at all that night. He's a hot mess. He didn't talk to me. Oh my god. He didn't talk to me for a few days. They took all of his teeth out? The front four. Oh, hey, princess, okay. If you go look at your yearbooks from when you guys were at Erickson, you'll see his teeth are gone. Yeah, I know. Snaggletooth is what we called him. And then, like, a year later, he's... Or no. Then, like, four years later. Sorry. A couple years after that. Something like that. One... Is either two to four years later. He tripped. And the back of his head hit the front left tooth for me. And it turned black within an hour. And he killed it. So, yeah. Uh, that is one thing that I broke that I don't think a lot of people have. Was literally my brother's face. Clubbed your brother in the face. By accident. Epitaph. By accident. Mm. What is something you've thought about me for the longest time, but you just haven't said? Your ugly ass teeth. Shoot. Literally, I'm not choking your teeth. Mm. Yeah, they're fucked, I'm aware. Yeah. <laughs> what is the worst thing about them, then? Maybe how they're bent in, or the gap. It's like, it's like how, how did you wow. get to an accident? Uh, yes and no, actually. It's kind of a half and half. When, <laughs> what? Jake has 10% shark in him. That's what fucking teeth are no, no, I'm 10% goofy. Cool. <laughs> um, I have a question for you that's not related to anything we talked about. Hold, hold on, I, I wanted to answer Epitaph's question real quick because it's... Oh yeah, go ahead. It's his turn after this, but I was going to answer what he responded yeah. with. My teeth, um, we found out they were growing in weird after Caleb hit me in the head. His came in perfectly was the fucky-wucky part. I use a golf club and his adult teeth grow in perfectly. He used the back of his fat ass head. My front four teeth get bent. But the other thing was the they were turning. Like in my face, they were turning ninety they they were on their way to turning ninety degrees. And they were gonna jackknife in a way, like and go sideways almost. So I had retainers for six months from Smile and they corrected my face to the point where my gums bled terribly. Yada yada yada. I've had a lot of dental issues. It's the nicest way to put it, but we never could afford braces, so retainers were the next best option. But yeah. How much braces cost? Smile costs like five hundred dollars. Braces are almost a thousand or so, depending on how severe. And they were gonna put like bands and everything, like they were going through the entire teeth. Not just the front four; it was everything. Like my back and my molars were bending in towards my tongue. I also have five oh, wisdom teeth. One. Yep. Two Painful. on the bottom right, and then the rest all have one, like normal. But yeah, Epitaph, it's it's your turn to pick somebody. It or almost at two hours. How? What is the weirdest encounter you ever had with Jake? Oh Jesus! Fucking every encounter. <laughs> I have a feeling it's when I send the random ass memes. Is she there? No. Um, what? Oh, I don't know. No, I was asked the question. What's the weird one you ever had with cheek? Mm -hmm. I got a couple. Um, Thanks. I got a few. Uh, Every day, I am at. Okay, so I wouldn't say it was an encounter with Jake. It it was. I don't, I don't even know how you what you would call it. But um, <laughs> we were in the back art room, like so we we were in Miss Settle's room, and then we were in like there's like this back room, 
Oh, are you talking about, uh, God, what was her name? Short, skinny, tiny. Uh, short, skinny, tiny, uh, fuck. Um, I was there, if you're talking about that. No, I don't think that's, no, that's not what I was referring to. Um, me and this guy named Michael were laying down <laughs> back there. <laughs> and she said, <laughs> like, I so like, oh, about this. What the fuck are y'all doing? <laughs> Sleeping. Yeah, so, they're just like, uh, you know, you said at first, you said, yum, 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 and I pop my head out the corner and go, yum. And he goes, the fuck are y'all doing? Sleeping. Right. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. There, we had, there was a storage room in the art room. It was like a 12 by 12 storage room. And you could turn the lights off, and the art teacher was so cool. She's like, go chill back there, whatever. Because she knew we weren't going to do anything. And uh, we turn the lights off. We're about to take a nap. And I just hear like a shit ton of rustling around and like falling over or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I, turn, I pull up my phone. The snap is somewhere in my memories. Um, I think I have it somewhere. We, uh, I was looking at I, I turned the phone and go, fuck y'all doing over there? And then Princess just pops out of nowhere in the darkness going, or no, it's Michael. I'm sorry. Michael comes and goes, sleeping. And then he just lays back down. I'm like, that's fucking weird. That's fucking I'm just like halfway <laughs> laying on him, just like hi. I remember that. I could. I thought you were gonna talk about uh. God, what was her name? I used to date Jerome. Oh um. Ah oh, fuck! I know he's talking about. I don't remember her name. That's gonna bug me. I don't sure. remember that. Uh, Christmas. Day before Christmas break. Just coming over and grabbing you in the ass. Oh, yeah. She's like, what the fuck? Uh, I, I, I oh, said, Sierra. Sierra. I, was Sierra almost, that's I almost said Carlita for a second. I'm like, no, that's somebody else. But, uh, yeah, Princess is your Yeah, favorite. Sierra just came and grabbed me in the ass. I was like, uh... Excuse me, bitch. I was there for that. When you said back room, I thought you talked about the mud room. No, 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 no. I was talking about the storage room. Yeah, we called the mud room. But yeah, yeah. And what's up, Rat? We're almost at two, two hours. What? We're almost at two hours on the stream. Yay! Uh, Princess, it's your turn to ask somebody okay. a question. Dio just joined the chat. Dio! Hi, Dio. Hi, Dio. Uh -oh. Welcome to Cup of Eggnog. Would you like to introduce yourself, even though we already said your name? Thank you, In the last ten minutes. Oh. I accidentally clicked on this account with the cord of my microphone. Sorry. Okay. okay. Princess, what'd you say? Yeah, I, I accidentally... I, I, was, uh, I didn't say anything yet. Alright, so, since Dio joined, I'll ask Dio a question. Dio. Um, yes. For reference, we're playing the question game, and after she asks you the question, you just ask somebody else the question and it moves on. Okay. What's something weird you have that no one else, that you think no one else would have? Like, a weird thing to have for those lines. Alright, alright, now hear me out. Hear me out. Did you say a penis? Oh, what the? Double checking. <laughs> Cause there's this one red Xbox controller that was only made in 2017. You can, like, there's still some in stock, but you can't get the, like, you, there's a lot of places that are hard to find them. And apparently only, like, 40 people got them. That's a small, small amount. Damn. That's cool. So a limited edition controller. Not bad. The thing is, its colors are literally red and brown. <laughs> That's a like, weird I'll, color palette. I know, yeah, I'll send a picture of it. Like, it's dark red, brown, brownish color. Okay. I shall be back. So, uh, Dio, go ahead and just ask someone a question of your choice. Alright, that's my turn now, right? Yep. <laughs> Jake. What's up? If there was one thing that she could say or do, what would it be? If that I could see? Say or do. If I could do anything, uh, I would... 
go back and stop the people that I knew that died on accident. Yeah. So like my grandfather, how he went out and smoked a cigarette, I come over and tell him to remove the oxygen mask first, or uh, stop my friend from going up on the roof, stuff like that. If I could go back and change it, I would in a heartbeat. Where did your friend fall off? He didn't fall off. Oh, he jumped on. Guess what? Yeah, that's going to sad really quick. Yeah. But yeah, I, I would go back and at least prolong the inevitable, if that makes sense. Uh. Rat. Yes. Favorite TikTok that you have made? Fuck. Uh, <laughs> probably the one where um, it's uh, where I'm talking about Pete's rule. And it, it, it's like the one where um, I dressed up as you. You're just like watching the entire thing with your arms crossed. <laughs> you were the chosen one! It was so that you would destroy the trophies, not join You were so fucking accurate with my act, like my behavior, and I don't know how to feel about it, and the fact that you brushed your hair to the side and put the glasses on. I was both insulted and amazed. Attention to detail. Yeah, you, your your hair normally goes to the opposite of mine, but you fucking flipped it for the clip. <laughs> it's called dedication, motherfucker. <laughs> I, I have to say something. I am C-Rex. I swear, okay, hold on. If... If, Rat, if you make your hair... If you bleach your hair... He would look just like look me. Like Which I have a past. No, he will look like a Nazi. He'll look Dude, like a Nazi. I'm a Nazi. Okay, so, do you remember that, uh, like, like, my, like, my old TikToks? With my, like, somewhat bleached hair? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. What about it? Somebody just texted me. That's why my phone just lit up. What about it? Uh, fucking uh, one where I fell backwards, fucking half shirtless. <laughs> okay, sorry I couldn't Skype tonight, but that's all right. Come back here, I see you tomorrow. The fucking fell backwards. I have it somewhere on my TikTok page. Nice. Somewhere. Uh, that's like my very second TikTok that, that I've done. It's so fucking random. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> no, like that was when I was a chunky boy. Like my fucking <laughs> titties. <laughs> uh, it's a... like I had tits bigger than Marilyn Monroe's. Okay. Anyway, Your turn. Uh, fucking uh, Dio. Yes. Yeah. What's your height? <laughs> what? How tall are you? What is your height? I don't know. I don't regularly check my Are you height. under the are you under the height of four eight? <laughs> no, I'm taller. Five are you under the height of five foot? Or if you're five foot and a half and you know it. I know I'm taller than five foot. I at least know that. Like five foot and a half. I might be five foot six. We know he's, we, we know he's not five Pause. foot. Two. Fucking balls. You're telling me that you're about the be. same height as me. Because this is like right when we Yeah, how old are you? How old are you? Turning 14 in November. What the fuck? I mean, yeah, this is. Dude, rat is like, six foot three. Fifteen. Like, yeah, this is my life. Like, puberty is the time that. 
don't. Uh, puberty is the time that we like get way taller. Yeah. Puberty's a lot. I'm already annoying that I have to stand next to Jake, and Jake's already taller than me. Puberty. It's irritating. Puberty's a lottery because in some Not. cases you're either well endowed, more developed, or you just get a shit ton of ass hair like me. Dude, Dude same. I am a citizen of Mexico. I am destined to be tall. This man's over here like, don't worry, can't explore my shit. <laughs> I can disprove that theory right there that Mexicans are always tall. That's not true. Look at us, bitch. It's only <laughs> Oh, right in my ear, rat. Damn. Good and the kid goes. Alright, you can ask someone a question. Deal, you're up, dude. Oh, about to reach two hours. I got to go. Princess, I have a question. 16, Are you cool? 19, 20, Am I cool? Depends on what kind of cool you're talking about. Are you talking C O L? Okay, four, three, two, one. Do you and we've reached two hours. Yay! I couldn't hear you, rat. What? So I was counting down. Shut up. C O O L. C O O L? Yeah. yeah, I think I'm cool. Actually, I'm a little toasty right now, but... You know who Minecraft creator just tweeted? I go ahead and ask a question. Uh, Jake. Uh, favorite memory of me and you, I guess. I don't know. Homeboy die? I think so. I think so. Right. Sorry about that, I'm back. Oh, I didn't know you went AFK, I was asking you a question. What's up? <laughs> What's your favorite memory of being you? Uh, shit, I don't think I have one. <laughs> okay, most notable memory then. Most notable memory? Uh, when you and Michaela oh, walked into the art room high off your ass. <laughs> And then expected me to help you with math homework. Oh my god. <laughs> I walked in there stoned and then I straight up fucking zoomed. You know we math homework? Hey, can you do my math work? No, bitch, you cannot get high all the time. There's an idea. It goes to Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is real. Jesus is dead. Jesus is about as dead as my sex life. Yeah, never mind, it's pretty dead. He's no Obama. Obana. Obana. Or Hannah means family. Dude, I, I may go ahead and stare a few minutes because I'm fucking tired. And the edibles have just fucking. Caressed you. Oh, is he? Is the edibles have caressed my nuts. What did you say? For a minute. Did you do him on an empty stomach? Me? Yeah. You dipshit. Do what on an empty stomach? Oh god, wait, what you're 15! Are... Yeah, you're put it. On stream, idiot. I'm not doing anything. I am reading the Bible. Dude. Never mind. Bible? And, fuck, fuck. Uh, I'm not doing illegal stuff. I am uh, uh, pretending to be Iron Man. I, am <laughs> I just caught myself. I'm like, wait, why am I giving a 15 year old advice on how to ingest drugs? 
I am, I am, I am pretending to be Captain America's clone son. If anybody wants to read the Bible, we're putting a link in general. Alright, but let's read the Bible together, guys. We got rid of the Welcome to BDSM, uh, Bible Study Discussion Group. According to the Bible, if you quote the B movie one more time, I'm kicking you from the circle. Hold on, can I say something? You just did. I like jazz. Hold on, hold on. My sister has a sweater with the word schwank on it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but how it, like, this is how it it's spelled. Do like, you mean the, like, corporate uh -huh. office? If you want a dollar, dollar bill, yeah, this is how it's spelled. Like, it in in it. Let's stay like that. What'd you say? If you roll up a dollar bill and stick it in a container, will it stay like that? Uh, depends. Do you roll it and pin it, or do you roll it and just call it good? I just roll and call it good. Uh, it also depends on how hard you press when you roll it, because if you roll it and crimp it, it will stay in that position. But if you just roll it, there's a chance it could unwind. But we... I'm gonna roll this like I'd roll something. Mary Jane. But since we have a 15-year-old in the group... Oh, I hate you. Uh, fuck you. I can legally drive with a parent. Yeah, but you can't eat animals. <laughs> Damn it. What yeah, mommy you doesn't know about food? Animals on an empty stomach. You better, yeah, I was gonna say. Yes. You I fucking did. idiot. I even wouldn't do that. Oh, that's not gonna fit. No, 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 no. I've, I've seen you do some stupid shit, don't lie. No, I, I don't wanna okay, fucking eat. Just because, alright. Just because. Uh huh. Do I really wanna help myself on that? Nope, I don't yeah, think I you do. do because you were his age when you did it. I was not. I didn't want to. Dude, I don't like when eating. I eating is not. When I started taking eating is up. not. Uh, like sixteen. That's barely older than him. All right, shut up. I'm still with him. Right, oh, aren't you turning sixteen? It's not. That is exactly what it is. It's illegal for rat. Dude, weed isn't weed isn't legal here, like at all. It's not. That's what, That's what it It's yeah, it might be okay for our state, but for him, we're not gonna say. Wait, what's the issue? We're not gonna if say what legal, state then... he's in. Almost all forms of marijuana possession is here is legal. So you can't have that. Damn, that's the thing uh, is, is you, also have, you also have to. You also have the fact that you're under sixteen, which it usually doesn't well, I say. I, my dollar bills are too fat. It won't fit my bottle. I mean, the only like legal form of, of weed here is CBD. Uh, I mean, that stuff's okay. It's not the best. But just give me high though. Like, Alright, whose turn is it? Yeah. No. I, don't know. I think it's Dio's. No, it's Princess. Oh. Do you do you live to Oh no 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 no, no, no. It's it's mine because uh she asked me what's your favorite memory. I said I don't think I have one. She goes, Okay, what stands out? Uh when you walked in high off your ass, so it's my turn, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm the way I'll talk a week. Yeah, it's well, your turn to go. Uh, no, um Princess, since I haven't asked you a question yet. Uh, what not is, recently, no. What is your favorite thing that I made so far? Oh, your favorite thing that you've made so far. Um, oh, uh, fuck, what's it called? Or your favorite thing that Thor's I made? Hammer. Which one? That one was my favorite. Stormbreaker? The original I mean, the one. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's real. That one was my favorite. Okay, cool. Why? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I just liked it a lot, and also it looked cool. Hey, how's that old bathroom doing? How's that what? Like that old old. Like, old who? That war you have. I didn't hear you say that, Epitaph. What, what, how's that war you have doing? 
or paddle, whatever you're gonna call it. Oh, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. I haven't really had any problems with it. Why? Just seeing how it's holding up. Yeah, haven't done anything to break it. Princess, it's your turn for a question. Um. Epitaph. Yep. What is your favorite? Favorite. What is your okay? It's because I I have to do it. What is your favorite thing for McDonald's? This is product. <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, it doesn't matter what side of the menu. Nope, doesn't matter. Uh, I probably a triple cake. cheeseburger. Are you really trying to do product placement, Prince? <laughs> That's rather a double quarter pounder or a triple cheeseburger. Hell yeah. Hashtag not sponsored. I uh, make sure to check out the hot and spicy and the spicy Please crispy McChicken. Stop plugging it. I'm gonna send this over to McDonald's on TikTok. Know, she works at McDonald's. I work at McDonald's. I know. Yeah. I'm talking about on stream, Dio. Oh. So, did you not realize what chat we're in? No, I noticed. It's just I didn't realize that you were talking to stream. Just clip that a little bit and I'll send it to Corporation. Maybe it'll give me, maybe it'll pay me better. If you nope, clip, uh, don't send the part of me edible. Don't fucking do it. I'm gonna have to start labeling these as mature audiences. You know, I should have really checked how many grams was in that. Because I'm starting to lose feeling. I, I, I'm starting to lose feeling in my left foot. <laughs> Sit down. I, I'm sitting on the toilet. Why are you on the toilet? I've been in the bathroom for two hours and eleven minutes. I wonder what his mom's thinking. Like, what the fuck is he doing in there? And Dude, who's talking to? Probably thinks that she's no. swanking it. <laughs> probably thinks that he's to be swanking honest, it right To now. be honest, we both know his mom would rather have him swanking it than talking to us. Yeah. Dude, I'm not even supposed to have my fucking laptop right now. I just realized I can accidentally show him by the stream. No, uh -oh. you can't. Because I will kick your ass before you can even share. How's it make you feel, bitch? Now I drive a little pasture street. I said accidentally, but okay, Jake. You can smoke crack all you want. <laughs> hey. I want to smoke crack. No, you don't. This shit doesn't feel good. How the fuck would you know? I'm not looking for you. Same, yeah. Um, Dude. Whose turn is it? Oh, it's print or epitaph because Princess asked epitaph. Yeah, it's I've been waiting. Parodic placement. You can interrupt us anytime. Yeah. All right. Dio. What? What is your favorite porn site? Okay. No. Oh, Our audience. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's your favorite TV show? Forever now, I drive a little past your street. I usually don't have a favorite TV show. I don't watch TV that much anymore. Surprisingly, oh, neither do I. If you love Netflix, you'll love Netflix Live. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I just let my head on my nerve just laughing. Quick. It's funny. I'm not denying it. That was funny. Good God. <laughs> Gotta make eye contact. If you love Disney Plus, you'll love Disney Plus Live. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Starting our new titles, Wanted. Disney. <laughs> <laughs> you love YouTube. I love um, YouTube Live. I had a conversation with my friend the other day. Like, like what, would, what would Santa be like during sex? Ho ho ho! What? Frosty Slim. Come on, dancer! Oh, Come on, prancer! Wait, what was Here comes 
Let's hear it comes. <laughs> right down her fat chimney. Okay, yeah, I that's enough internet for the day. <laughs> like, I just like to imagine that, like, during it, he's just singing all Christmas songs. I don't even Jesus Christ. If it's getting this theory, how about we just, like, end stream? <laughs> This will definitely get you banned. I was gonna say, if I end it here, we're gonna end on a bad note. I can't say this. Can you do more product placement? Hold on, hold on. Here's a good note. Here's a, here's a good note. Edward Bosco, the voice actor, is a nerd. Alright, thank you. You monster. Our new spicy nuggets. They're actually pretty fucking good. Edward Bosco. They are kind of the fucking mighty odds yeah, but Dio, it's your turn. It's your turn, my guy. Hold on, like, Edward Bosco is the best. He is the best. Well, he's Hispanic. I don't know if he's Hispanic or Hispanic. But still, he's Mexican. Why am I saying Mexican? I always default to Mexican. He's Hispanic with a racist name. Who are you talking about? I'm Hispanic myself, you. What, Dio? You're talking fucking nonsense. Have you seen my skin color? Have no. you? Go back to the timeout corner. Go back to the timeout corner, Dio. You say timeout corner? <laughs> Go back to the timeout corner. Go to the baby jail. Guys, guys, guys. My le I cannot film it. Timeout corner, Dad. Did, did he say he can't feel his left leg? I think so. Dude, he's high. If you DC him, he's not going to be able to come back properly. <laughs> my fucking left foot is numb. My left foot can't go. Suck it up, Buttercup. You'll live. <laughs> I can't walk. Oh my fucking god. He can't. You can. You can. You just don't shit your pants. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> if you be careful not to shit yourself, that can happen. Yeah, I know. Yeah, don't ask. One of my friends was trying to die in the bathroom the bathroom alone with the door locked. We won't talk about. Um, shit happened. Shit, I'm gonna so fucking just screwed up painting again. I'm gonna fucking pull an Elvis and just die in the bathroom with the door locked. No. <laughs> Hunt is sitting in the county jail. <laughs> Two dudes sitting in a hot tub five feet apart because they're not gay. That doesn't apply to me, you idiot. Yeah, we know. Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. The other way around. Two dudes chilling in a hot tub one feet apart. each other's too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the hell up. Jake, I have a question. What's up, Dio? Question. Are you ugly? Oh, we already know yes. the answer to that. Yes. You're not that <laughs> ugly. Guys, do not Google that. Yeah, yeah. Two, six, seven, Just because four, you've seen me shirtless does not mean I'm not ugly. <laughs> <laughs> He sees what? Wait a minute, did I hear that right? I had to model in the art class. I forgot about that. I had to so model in you, the art class. We're not talking Nate. about it. Well, cool, cute little miss. My cool, cool, cute little miss. Your only quality is tall. Shut up, Caitlin. Yeah, Caitlin. <laughs> Jake, I'm gonna text you something. Uh, okay. I have a feeling it's gonna be about a joke, what I think it is. My pepperoni nipples. Did you know that we dubbed Mickey's nipples Canadian bacon? Gosh, I just said if I should throw it to you or not. Oh, by the way, Jake, how did Mickey's titty taste? <laughs> On stream, really? <laughs> yeah. Damn you, I have. I told you, lemon pep, lemon juice, and B.O. 
This man <laughs> fell on top of me when I was down in Tennessee the first time, and since his chest landed on my face first, I breathed in his titty. <laughs> and Mickey's a big boy. Uh, why? I'm, I'm concerned of why it tastes like lemon. Be, it was a fact, like, the, the tang of sweat, because he's a wrestler. Oh. Oh yeah, now you understand my struggle. Stop talking about it before I get Vietnam flashbacks about his tits. <laughs> <laughs> so did you can take care of your ass guy after that? I've been one. Father. Father, I have sinned. I have been one eighteen years. Why <laughs> that's why Princess knows who I was talking to. <laughs> Father Alas a minion moon. The stream got taken down. Did it? Oh, for real? No. Ah. Uh, oh, fuck. Dude, I left a fucking minion beam. I feel sad. I'm not surprised. She cheated us. No, but left left at minion. Just fucking look, hang on. Just, just fucking look in gym. He left Did a flame beam on me. The what meme? A flame beam. Fucking minion beam. <laughs> God damn it, I hate when Mickey's right about me. I'm over here trying to make it perfect painting this Darth Vader thing, and he goes, Dude, if you paint one thing wrong, you're gonna have an aneurysm. Your mom's an aneurysm. No, Dio, I've repainted Dad. this thing twice in the past two and a half hours. Damn you, Mickey. Trust me, I know my mother's aneurysm. Dude, I know shut that. up. Your mom's an aneurysm. You think I don't know? Your mom's gay. Yeah, Dio's yeah, mom is she... gay. Okay. I know, that's why it's funny. Duh. What a princess to- Okay, I just saw the joke, damn it. We're not saying like, that I one. Am... We're not saying that one on stream. I have... Yeah, please don't. Your mom's gay, Joe. The rat sent me. <laughs> I'm just texting me asking, when are we gonna get wasted edible. and cry together? He's a fucking edible bag, that's what I sent you. Fucking bag of edibles. Are you just not gonna respond, you slut? Me? Jesus Christ. Is it delicious? What'd you yes, say? you. Oh, um, the last time I got drunk was over a year ago. I'm kinda happy I'm clean. No, not that. That's not what I was asking. What did you say? You're not gonna respond to my text. It was. It, I want, you, I want to get weak that was the punchline of a joke. What kind of response do you want? Haha, <laughs> lol. Yeah. You guys, check I'm out Jen. Be for you guys should check I'm out Jen real quick and see what I've been working on for the past couple hours. No, I'm trying to make Minecraft Reaper. God for like damn. the second time. This thing is Ever. Jake, send me the live stream link. Uh, it's just twitch.tv.com backslash Jake downstairs TikTok. <laughs> it's my TikTok username with a dash underneath it. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Got that shit memorized because it's easy as hell. It's just my username. Alright, I'm, I'm just straight up gonna put a funny in the chat later. But, uh, whose turn is it? Like, who got asked the question last? You. Me? Yeah. I think. Was it? I mean, if it is, I don't care. I'll just ask somebody a question. Dio! Yes? What is the dumbest thing I've said? Yo, this will... Every time oh, you no, open your fucking you. mouth. Rat. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Don't call me out like that. I don't. I don't have any. I'm too. I'm too fart in order to remember. <laughs> That's lovely. What was the Twitch name again? Uh, Jake Downscore Eggnog. Capital shouldn't. That's where the downscore is. Yeah. Say so capital shouldn't Did matter. Just say downscore. Downscore underscore same damn thing. No, it is literally only underscore, Jake. 
I'm gonna Google down score real quick and see what comes up. Wait, how do you spell score? <laughs> <laughs> an underscore, also called an underline, low line, low dash, is a line drawn under segment of text. What the fuck calls it a low dash? Down score still pulls it up. Down score is also okay. a football term. And you're also a bit. <laughs> I don't want But uh, yeah, I just finished painting the Vader helmet now. I gotta wait for the acrylics to dry. I think it looks pretty good. I, I just did my condom art. I got a few condoms to drag. I find the lack of faith to see it. The linger bitch. Oh, there's a, <sighs> is that a fish. That's a fish. Your mom's a fish. But, uh, yeah, after a good. Two and two and two hours and twenty five minutes. I think that's a good first session. That's a good first session. Yeah. You all have to let me know um, yeah, when y'all do it again. I gotta advertise. Gonna fucking get, get the fucking welcome to cup of eggnog, where we drink your daily dose of fucking eggnog. I think it's gonna be a weekly menu. dose, like once a week. Yeah. But, uh, daily dose of eggnog. How does every Sunday night sound? Uh, every oh, Sunday night. I don't have a set time yet. I'll just pop on every Sunday night. But anybody, anybody want to play Minecraft? Mm, I'm gonna get something to eat here after this. But um, for those watching the stream, even though I doubt there's any, uh, thank you guys for tuning in for a cup of eggnog. Come back sometime next Sunday for the. That. Hopefully your notifications come in. But uh, yeah, not bad for first episode. All right, bye everybody. Okay. Bye. You're all ugly. Ah. Okay, I stopped streaming. Woo. Let me go see if it saved the stream. Wait, Jake, I have a question for you. Hmm. Are you using your phone to stream it? No, I'm using my laptop. I'm using OBS. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Have to double check. Have to double check. Because I've tried to do this on my phone before and it didn't work. Yeah, so, fun fact, you get... Dude, my audio is so clear. Your mom's clear. How do I sound? It's as poopoo as it only. <laughs> Fucking emojis. <laughs> Jake, how do, I, how do I sound? You sound fine. Pog. You sound like you're in a bathroom. You sound like you're in a bathroom. God! Oh, I keep on accidentally hitting the the thing that cancels out the world, which deletes everything that I've done so far, and it's annoying. <laughs> Can I have to re-add every single add-on? Lovely, for like the fifth time. I fucked up repainting this thing twice because it was all matte black. Cool. I put it in reverse the first time, like this whole thing. All of these were flipped so that the silver that's there was the black, and I, I felt terrible. So I just repainted everything silver completely. <laughs> and then I put the black coat on and then realized it was the wrong black, so I repainted it again with silver, and then I put the black gloss that I needed and my aneurysm is over. Oh.
um, one of my coworkers who recently quit. Oh, yes, hello. Uh, she came by to pick up her check, and she she would, like walk to the back to go get the manager, and I I didn't realize it was her at first, and she goes, "Move, fucking asshole!" And I'm like, I was I was about to yell at her, and be like, "Who the fuck are you talking to?" And then I realized it was her. And I was like, "Oh, hi, asshole." <laughs> Her name's literally bitch in my phone. Right, down there, down that. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna head out. Night rat. Because night my headphones. Room. My headphones are gonna die. And I'm, I'm slowly losing my feeling in my right foot. <laughs> so. <laughs> Alright, good night, y'all. Good night. Uh, So are we all still here? No. Okay. Anybody want to join? My back is just... It's in like one spot I can't reach. Because my little right. midget arms. Where the fuck is my... There it is. I'm almost done setting up Minecraft Rebirth for like the fifth time. Oh damn it! One question I forgot to ask on the podcast. Fuck! It was gonna be what are you if you guys were able to get the uh, God if you guys were able to get the stimulus check, what would you spend it on? Ah uh, damn, that would that's a good question for next week though. <laughs> we can kick it off with that. Bet. Let me go look at the question and see if it saved the video because if it didn't, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> It doesn't save it to your PC. That's not how OBS uh, works. OBS is still recording shit. <laughs>